All right, welcome everybody. If you're watching live, thanks for being here. If you're watching the recording, good to have you here too. We're going to go ahead and continue with the Mansa Musa game that we started last week. We had to do a restart because the original game, let's just say that the map was not very uh, welcoming, but we're gonna continue from where we left off with that second game. And we're gonna, pro we're gonna probably try to go for a couple hours here. We'll see, two to three hours. See how much time we have. This is a game on Immortal difficulty. Just one little nitpick, by the way. When you go to load a save, delete is on the right and load is on the left. It feels like it should be the other way around. I don't know. Every time I try to load a save game in Gathering Storm, I'm like, wait, that's the delete button, not the load button. So yeah, a little, a little From annoying. Beginnings, you have shown remarkable growth. <laughs> Lines up pretty well with the you acting in the Octopath right. segment. So here's Mansa Musa. If you haven't seen him, or if you didn't see the first part, his specialty is he gets lots of money, but he has weak production. Mansa Musa, great king of Mali, you are blessed with wealth beyond comprehension, yet you remain uncorrupted. Raise your eyes from the marketplace to the heavens and satisfy your heart's great yearning for peace. Protect the prosperity of your people, and history will write your name in golden letters. All right. So the biggest change from when I left off is you might notice there's more information displayed up here. This is actually an interface option. I had seen a number of people in screenshots using this, and I managed to find out where it was. It's under Options, Interface, and here. It's Show Yields in HUD Ribbon, and I set it to Always Show. I don't know why you would ever not want to use this because the information is super useful. It shows the overall score, which is not as important, but it's kind of a proxy for overall strength. It has military strength, which is really important to know, science per turn, culture per turn, overall gold, overall faith, and overall diplomatic favor. Now, all of this information can you can pull from looking at the um, world rankings. So like it's all here in this menu, but like you kind of have to like search around for it on different sub menus. So having it just displayed at the top of the screen is super duper useful. So uh, I would highly encourage anyone who's playing Gathering Storm to use this. It's one of the nicer features. Another thing I like about Gathering Storm is I like how they've added these um, labels on the map. You can turn these off if you want, but I think they're pretty cool to have. Like it will just label certain natural features for you. So what we were doing in the last session is we had kind of done the early stage of the game. The most important thing we had done was we had tech to currency, which is where the unique district of um, Mali is located. Unique commercial hub. It's basically similar to a standard commercial hub, except it's half price and it gets an adjacency bonus for holy sites. So we will want to build holy sites at some point. In particular, since I have, and I can get rid of this pin. This one I can get rid of. I already have a commercial district down. If I were to put like a holy site on this tile here, it would be get the bo bonus for being next to both of these. Uh, both of these commercial districts would be boosted. So I probably do want to put a holy site down here eventually. I will need to get either money bags or uh, dollar signs up to size seven to do that though. Anyway, um, and the other thing we were doing is we were moving a settler to this spot. So we're going to need a name for this city in like two turns. So keep that in mind, you guys. And the other thing we were trying to work towards is we were trying to work towards a Petra in this city in dollar signs because it, it has a lot of desert hill tiles. Desert hills are the tiles you want uh, for Petra. So I think that that's the general plan for the moment. Um, what I would want to do is I would want to chop. I have two forests that I could chop into a Petra build with um, Magnus and that would knock out a maybe like half the wonder. So. That's good there. I also wanted to do a quick check here. If you look at the great person screen, I don't think I looked at this before. Note that some of the AIs are already pursuing a great general. Note the fierce competition for great profits. This is why I have not tried to found a religion. We have yeah nine profit points per turn, seven per turn. I was never going to get an early great profit. Someone apparently passed. What the? Someone got, is that 170 out of 60? Apparently someone passed. I don't know why you would ever pass on a great profit because they all do the same thing. That's really weird. Um, this would actually be a, a decent great scientist to get, but I don't think we're going to get that. Korea is just going to control all the great scientists early on. No one else has any of them. Um, we are going to probably get the first great merchant though. Although Macedon apparently already is getting... Four points per turn. Uh, with our districts, though, we should pass him pretty quickly. Anyway, 
so yeah we should get the first great um great merchant and that'll be nice because i can probably i may use it to get additional tiles for chopping like if i could get this forest to chop for dollar signs to chop for a petra that would be a nice to pick up anyway east watch you guys like <laughs> others reach for the heavens you claw at the dirt yeah she doesn't like me for some reason although i wait, maybe she does is disappointed that you ignore science okay so relations are going to decline there see if we can declare friendship while they're okay she accepted the declaration of friendship i'm just trying to keep relations good for the time oh we got plus nine for declared friend we, if, we're, if we end up fighting someone later, Korea is a major candidate because they're so close. But um, we don't want to pick a fight with them right now. That 44 science per turn is concerning. And 32 culture per turn, but there's not a lot I can do about it right now. Her agenda is apparently science. She likes people who has a lot of science. And she dislikes people who don't have science. That's my understanding, at least. So I'm also still exploring the map over here. Alright, so we got to build her. Three more charges. We just finished this builder. Next up, I think we need to go um, farm this. And then we probably want to mine this tile here. Because it's the only mine. Yeah, I don't want to I don't really want to get rid of these forests just yet. I'd prefer to have Magnus in place for chopping before I get rid of them. This is a crummy tile. So yeah, I guess we it doesn't really matter which way we go at the moment. Okay. Any resources out in the third ring? This would be in the second ring, but it's already been grabbed by the city-state. And we definitely want to get envoys with this city-state. So we currently have no envoys with them. Um, the mission is to recruit a great writer. Okay, so that's not happening. So we would need to drop two envoys into them. Um, training, I will probably train a spearman at some point just to get this, um, an envoy with Vilnius. So that's another thing we want to do. We do not have any envoys, but when we get to 100 influence points, we can try to drop one in there. And, oh, we're going to get one from Mysticism, too. That's right. So I'm probably going to drop the Mysticism Envoy in there. Although I will, of course, use the two-for-one policy to do so. If some of this doesn't make sense for those who have not played um, Civ Six, I apologize. We'll try to explain as we go along. Oh, and the Scout is still just poking around in Macedonian territory. And then this warrior is going to try to take down this barb camp. I have a slight combat edge. It'll probably take a couple turns. Maybe I'll get some help from this English unit. I just want to make sure that it doesn't start spawning um, barbarian units that come over and harass me. And it's not like that warrior had anything else to do. So, uh, In addition, I'm going to... So note this side over here, which we've already identified as iron bags, because it has all the iron. Low food city, but um, quite strong. Will be great if we can run a trade route. Also, I can swap this tile over to iron bags, um, potentially for food. So we're going to found this. What we're actually going to do is we're going to purchase a settler for it. I can purchase a settler for 540. So I'm just saving up. And when I get 540, I'm going to try to purchase it. Could I use Crassus? No, he can't steal tiles, as, as Chevalier said. Crassus is a very useful, great person, but he doesn't steal tiles. All right, yeah, dollar signs at the ha at the housing cap. Not surprising. So it's going to grab that tile. Ooh, that's a nice tile. Not bad. It's a better tile than this one. <laughs> I really need to get um, some more mines down. What the city really needs is Petra. It would be an awesome Petra city. I hope it's possible for me to get that. And you really should get down to the southern hemisphere. I've almost circumnavigated the northern hemisphere. Like, this guy can explore the north. Why don't you start heading south? Just see if you can get around Vilnius. Like, I can't get through the borders of Korea, but there's a little space here to get past Vilnius. What's this? Oh, the continent. North America, South America. So here's North America. Here's South America, which is apparently west of North America. And then here's the con... Oh, wait. Why is this saying North America when it's clearly a different continent? Whatever. Nina. Anyway, whatever. So we discovered a new continent. It's true that Petra is a wonder the AI tends to go for. I was hoping that I can get Magnus and um, use Magnus to chop it. The one thing is the three specialty districts can trip them up. 
Like, that can be a hard requirement to get. Also, I swear to God, if this Korean scout stands on that tile, I'm going to be so mad next turn. Uh, this slinger, I think I'm going to send down here to do a little more scouting. Oh, he actually left the camp. Okay. Well, thanks for that. I'll take it. We also get plus two era score for that. So I would love to get a uh, golden age for the next era. I don't know if that's going to be possible, but I certainly would like to do so. You, I want to keep heading to the east because, I, again, I'm trying to circumnavigate here if possible. So between you heading east and this guy heading west, I think I can do that. For whatever reason, the game will not let me scroll the map, but I've pretty much reached the edges on each side. All right. Mysticism is the mystic. So you just fortify to heal here. Yeah, the spearman took more damage. All right, we've got a volcano has gone active right in the middle of English territory. Yes, please. So they're building Machu Picchu. I can see it under construction. All right, civics. Let's see what we got to research next. So this is, I don't really need games and recreation. Drama and poetry we can hopefully boost by building the wonder. Um, next up, I probably want military training and I'm not going to build an encampment, so we might as well start working towards that. Let's go towards military training. Build two campus districts is going to be tricky. Um, feudalism is like the next really big one. Serfdom's a great policy. And then you get the um, farm improvements gate plus one food. That's like the next really big one, but it's a good ways away. Also, can I even, do I even have Magnus recruited right now? Because I will need to get another governor promoted. I don't think I have Magnus recruited, so I might need to go for that, actually. Yeah, I might need to get another governor tile. I don't get a governor. Do I, does anyone know if I get a governor promotion for finishing the government plaza? Awards one governor tile. Okay, so I'm okay there. I can take Magnus with, um with the government plaza. Okay. All right, so we need to, let's see, change policies. So let's think what we want here. So we definitely want this just for the three turns while we put this envoy in. Uh, I'm not training anything with a goge or a goji right now. I do want urban planning. Unfortunately, there's a lot of pol like I don't really have a lot of policies I need that badly. Like I'm not building settlers at the moment. I'm going to purchase the next settler. Um, I might want to get a few more units. I think I'll keep that. Yeah, there's actually not a ton I really need here. Uh, you know, I um, I don't want Corvée right now, but I will probably switch into it in a few turns. Let's hold off on. Hold on, let's cancel this for the moment. So I can start Petra in three turns, but I'm going to finish military tradition in three turns, so there's no need to go into that just yet. So I definitely want this. Diplomatic policies, there are not very many of. It's I wish that there were a few more options there. Obviously, this is no good. Discipline's pretty not useful either. I can't even build naval units just yet. Yeah, there's not a ton here I really need. God King might actually be a decent option because if I'm not training builders or whatever. Yeah, okay. I think I'm actually gonna go with this, which is kind of a weird setup, but the faith I can actually use. All right, so now we will send the envoy. We get the two for one placement. And then we'll get a third one shortly. And the, the real reason why I want to get um, Cahokia is not for the unique thing here. I'm not interested in these mounds. That's kind of pointless. Um, but I just want plus two gold in every market and lighthouse building. And I'm going to use faith to purchase the markets. All right, so you can mine that tile. There we go. No change in production, but plus four gold. So now, yeah, we're up to 37 gold per turn. The purchase economy is already on its way. What I really need is something that boosts districts. 
Yeah, Faith and Gold are both really key for Molly. So here's a question. When this government plaza finishes, like, is it worthwhile to delay this city by one turn? Because I know there's something at the government plaza, I know there's something the government plaza does that can get you a free builder when you, when you found cities. Like, should I wait a turn to finish the government plaza? Like, should I wait a turn to settle the city for the government plaza? Those of you who have played this Gathering Storm before. All right, hopefully you can get across the river next turn. Yeah, so I was just like asking, can I get that free worker if I wait a turn? No. Let me look up how the... Right. Um, oh, I have to build the ancestral hall first, okay. Where are the districts in here? Governments and where's districts? I think it's listed under districts. Here we go. Government Plaza. Ah, I see. It unlocks the buildings that then do stuff. Gotcha. It would delay it for a long time. Okay, so I'd have to build the ancestral hall. See, I'm still this is this is also a learning game for me, by the way. I see. 50% increased production. New cities receive a full builder. Awards plus one government title. Okay. So yeah, so we will want this for sure. But we might need to do, we probably, if we're going to go for Petra, we're going to have to do Petra first. Because otherwise we won't have much of a chance of getting it. Okay, so we did end up killing that. That flood is not in our range. Eleanor of Aquitaine is declared on Geneva. Where is Geneva? Is that one of the ones I've met? Yes, okay. Well... Oh, over here. Okay, well, Geneva already has walls, so I doubt the AI is going to be able to do anything. The AI kind of sucks. Our relation. Oh, we have now we have grievances with them because they declared against the city state that we had an envoy in. Cool. So it does decay over time, it doesn't just like stick around forever. Let's see if we can make a deal. Yeah, see, she's already up to already up to five cities, and she's got iron coming in. I actually need these uh, resources. I can't sell them, or those. I need those. Um... <sighs> Please move out of the way so I can walk through. Oh, <laughs> we actually found a hut. I miss the uh, civ. I miss civ four where units could just move through each other. There we go. All right, so now Mint has. Quite a bit of food. It's growing up towards a happy cat. Oh, we actually have a decent tile now. Yes, excellent. Also, you should definitely work that tile. So we're going to go mine that tile too, and then we're going to grow onto that and work that tile. Nice. This will be a tile we'll probably want to get if we can land Crassus as a leader, the great merchant. Although, geez, Macedon, where are they getting all these great merchant points from? I thought for sure I would get the first merchant. Oh, anyway. Okay, so we've got the new city to found. And what was the name? People suggested the name. It was East Eastern something. What was that, that name suggested again? It was Eastern... Eastwatch. Works for me. It probably will not be the Eastern border forever, but let's go for it for now. Better than Tall Denny. So if you're expecting to see like a, a like super well played game, this is probably not it because I uh, this is my first game of Gathering Storm. Anyway, so what do we need here? Uh, we're gonna get our unique district first. So we need to think about district planning. It's probably gonna have to be on this tile, unfortunately. I don't see another better spot to put it on. Unfortunately, I'm gonna lose the forest chop ability on that tile, but that's life. I can't get like a builder over here fast enough. We do definitely need to get a builder for this, but I want to do my uh, do this first because it's so crucial. Uh, especially I want to get it while it's cheap. Um, yeah, nine turns. Okay. Admittedly, the city is not going to grow, but I can probably route a trade route over here to get it a little. Well, I was going to say the city. Um, it'll grab this tile right away, and then we can work the four food tile to grow once the borders expand. It won't take long with uh, getting that culture there. 
Yeah, Ancestral Hall is pretty good. To be fair, Stravalia, I also have lost a city to a city-state in, uh, in a single-player game. I have had that happen, so you are not the only one by any means. So you just fortify until healed. You keep exploring to see what's down here. Oh, that guy already moved? Okay. I didn't realize he had already moved. All right, so we're going to finish the Ancestral Hole. We can also swap off math because we've now finished, or we're going to finish it when we build three different specialty districts, which will happen as soon as the campus completes. So that'll be in two turns. Um, and I think the capital is going to do a builder next. So I probably need to swap the... Yeah, I think the capital needs to do a builder next. So I probably need to swap the great people around in here. How do I do the governor reassignment? Well, we can leave it for the time being, I guess. Petra prep time. Yeah, that's what we're kind of working towards right now. All right. What's next to research? I don't want to unlock another district until I'm ready to build one. Let's start working towards iron working. We're going to be able to boost that. And I think both, mint, actually, you know what? I think both mint and money bags are going to build builders next. So I can probably leave Liang there. I think they're both going to train builders next. Uh, yeah, there's not something that like stands out. I do want to get apprenticeship because I want to get that mine plus one to mines. But um, that's still a little... Actually, you know what? No, I could start working on that. Just have to research over there. All right, looks like we probably do have to go through archery, so. All right. The hand with the pen, yeah. All right. I don't think there's a plan for um, Master of Orion in the immediate future. So yeah, we need to grab Magnus. And he needs to go to dollar signs. There we go. All right, so we're gonna start Petra next turn. I guess we can dump a turn into, wow, yeah, geez, this is really expensive. <laughs> so here, let's highlight what these what these do, shall we? So uh, audience chamber, plus one amenity, plus three housing in cities with governors, minus two loyalty in cities without governors. That sounds bad doesn't sound very good at all. It's basically just plus three housing in cities with governors. That sucks. <laughs> Sorry. Civ 6 is not a game of vertical growth. It's a game of expansion. That doesn't sound good at all. This is way better. New cities re receive a free builder is amazing. I don't know why you wouldn't want this. Warlord Stone. Capturing an enemy city grants 20% proneness production in all cities for five turns. I guess so. I still think the Ancestral Tall Hall seems like by far the best option out of these. Anyway. Um, yeah, so we can't start on um, Petra yet. We're also, by the way, we also can't start on it until we get a tile that can build it. We're going to have to purchase this tile, unfortunately. So we're going to have to spend money towards that. Uh, in the meantime, though, we how much faith does it take to purchase the market? All right, so we need 190 faith to purchase the market. So we really do need to get more faith coming in because I want to use my faith just to buy markets instead of wasting time building them. So we're going to need to get more faith coming in. Um, and like I said, the best way to do that is get a couple holy sites. So I probably should pick up the holy sites soonish. They will be discounted in cost. Um, so they'll be they'll get the district discounting formula, I believe. Or maybe, no, maybe not. I might need to build another district first. Anyway, so we've got a turn here. Go ahead, put a turn into that granary. The problem is this city really does not have especially great production. Like it's only managing eight production per turn right now, which is not very good. But I can probably boost that with a trade with trade routes and with uh, and especially with chopping. Well, I'm hoping that with Magnus I can chop out like half the cost of this wonder. But yeah, it's uh, it's not it's not a high production city yet. It will be if Petra finishes. Oh my God, are you serious? Please just move out of the way. It's the only way to move past here. So we did get error score from that. And you need to come down here. Uh, 
All right, at least you are not being blocked. Oh, there's something right here. How did I miss that? I should have been scouting for, I should have been loyalty scouting. And it does not appear to be um, Macedonian. Well, I'll, I'll spot it next turn. Also, I did want to check how long it takes east west to expand. All right, only seven turns until the border goes. So we'll finish the, this unique district, and then we'll work the work that tile. All right. So I don't send rate the wait. Did we not actually finish math mathematics from that? Anyway. All right. So we can drop this. We want the builder policy. We can drop this. We want the plus two points. And um, I don't think I need military units. Nobody's really fighting me at the moment. Actually, let's drop in land surveyors for a turn. That'll be better than the that'll be better than both God King and Caravan series, because I'm gonna have to purchase a tile. Oh, we only have two options. I guess we're gonna go through games and recreation for the moment. Maybe we should research towards construction. Well, we're not going to get construction anytime soon. I guess we didn't actually finish math. We just took it to like, are you kidding me? One beaker away from completion. All right, well, that's a turn wasted. <laughs> anyway. So how much to purchase this tile? 60 gold. Not great. We're gonna have to do it next turn. Or no, never mind. It's this tile I need to purchase. I'm my mistake. I forgot it's this tile I want to purchase for Petra. This one I want to use for a holy site. Meanwhile, there's not much going on up here. So you need to do a builder. Oh, cool! Only five turns. That's nice. And you are also going to do another builder. One will be for money bags. One will be. I mean, one of them will. Let's just put it this way. There's plenty of uh, tiles to improve over here. I'm just wondering if I should switch Liang over here. But I guess it's okay because I'm building a builder there too. Oh my god, this unit, this, this warrior will not move out of the way. All right, oh, we got a free unit. We just got another free scout. Okay, well, that's cool. The scout can go scout somewhere. Down here, I guess. We've gotten a couple scout units in this game. So I can't embark units at the moment. Might need to pick that up at some point. <laughs> but I'd have to go over here to shipbuilding and I don't have any of the boosts for that kind of stuff. All right, Scout. Um, see, I'd really like to get through here again. Get down there to the southern part of the map. Maybe maybe go over here to Scout. Explore that part of the map then. All right. So we met Monty. I'm also ready to purchase a settler too, but I need like another turn or so to do that. All right, so I believe that's everybody. There's only six, there's only, should be only five other leaders in this game. Uh, no, there's one more I haven't met. One more. Let's see how Mon so Monty's got a lot of military power. He's not doing that well in terms of research though. Uh, let's talk to him. We can apparently always send a delegation on the first turn. He doesn't like us very much, but... So he's got one more city than we do. Let's see if he'll sign open borders. Uh, no. We'll see. I can always try that later. Alright. Again, still trying to... All right, now it will finally let me scroll across the whole map. At least I'm pretty close to getting uh, 
circumnavigation. I think I'll be the first to get that. Again, I'd love to get a golden age for the next era. All right, we can finally build Petra starting next turn. If I were again beginning my... Okay. So this city can now start it. 43, we should be able to get that down. All right, so we're gonna make a play for this. We definitely need more production in this city. Uh, see this tile here, this is actually a wasted tile to work. Doesn't really do anything for me because I'm already at the food cap. Or I'm at the housing cap. Actually, this is the tile that doesn't do anything. I don't need more food at this point. Yeah. Might as well work these tiles. There's no point in growing because we're already at the happiness cap. Not Mine's not producing any extra production. It's a bit rough. So yeah, we can get all the way up to 10 production per turn. One, two, I cannot steal these tiles. I could use work this tile if I could get down there. If I manage to land Crassus, maybe. So we're currently getting... No, it doesn't look like we're going to get him, though. Macedon just... Like, oftentimes the AI completely ignores um, Great Merchants, and yet for some reason they're going full bore on Great Merchant points, inexplicably, for no clear reason. Anyway. All right, so we finished that. I'll go back to archery. I still cannot seem to get past that unit. And this is apparently a region inhabited by no one because there's just huts here that no one's picked up yet. All right, and you can use your last charge on this tile. So yeah, we're like two turns away from purchasing a settler. Just have you move to here on your own. It's actually one of the better jobs I've had exploring the map. Okay, so we've met a city-state. Triggered the inspiration for drama and poetry. Well, that would be to build a wonder, so that is potentially possible to get that. What is, uh, I don't even know what type of city-state this is. Is this militaristic? Okay, they changed the color a little bit. Theirs is melee and anti-cavs units do full damage to the city walls. Oh, wow, that would be nice for a military game. Yeah, that would be nice for a military game. Not so much here, though. All right, so there's that Petra start. Let me see if I can spot Petra in someone's territory. I don't have that much of it revealed, but like I could see it if it's being built. It's very obvious, like you see Machu Picchu under construction there. Like I don't see it in anyone's territory here, not so far at least. But he's already got double commercial hubs built with markets. Huh, got a lot of money there. Oh, did I not swap in? Oh, geez. Oh my god. That's so stupid. I was supposed to swap into Corvée. I totally forgot when I last swapped policies. Oh, I was totally forgot. I was supposed to swap into Corvée. That was the plan all along, and I forgot. Oh, much better than getting that 20% faster. Ah, would be very much worth it to do so. Well, we'll have to do it on the next policy swap, which unfortunately is a ways away. So he wants two gold per turn and open borders for... Um, I mean, I'm happy to... So this will let me map out his territory, in theory. Let's add open borders. Let's see if we can get more money out of him. No. Nope. He won't will he give me anything. <laughs> He'll give me, like, a point of gold for... Jeez. All right, sure. I'm happy to give him my open borders. And I'm signing open borders with him because I have a scout right by his territory. So they really want this diplomatic favor. I don't know if it's worthwhile to keep giving it away, 
But um, we'll see. Okay, purchase. Settlers 540, so we need one more turn to get that. Heading towards apprenticeship. Yay! We made it through. Woo! And we just boosted apprenticeship. So that's nice. All right. Let's see what we got here. So this city is not at the happiness cap. So we do want to be working high food tiles. So this looks... Yeah, this looks like these are the best tiles. Um, it's going to grow onto this tile here. We met another city-state, Fez. Oh, and they want me to destroy a, a barbarian encampment in the area. Oh, a traitor! That's really good! Excellent! Nice. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to rebase the traitor to um, to this city here. To uh, dollar signs for the extra production. Nice. That was a nice pull. And we can get, a, we can get an envoy with them, with Fez, who's also scientific. What's their unique ability? When you use a religious unit to convert a city for the first time, yeah, that's not helpful for us. We need to go back and explore Monty's territory while I still have open borders, but I'm trying to push through. Doesn't look like anyone started in this area of the map, so I'll have to try and find that barb camp. It has to be nearby. By the way, note that uh, Geneva has taken five damage to its fortifications. Has N nothing's going on there. Nice. That trader was quite quite good. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna rush the settler on this turn. How can you let those? What barbarians? There are no barbarians near my sieve. Macedon. Oh boy, that faded so quickly I couldn't even see it. What was the info? What was the info? Not happy to see your civilization is at peace. Okay, get over it, buddy. Here we go. Mastodon is worshipping fertility rights. Okay. That's a bizarre choice. Anyway. Alright, let's get that settler. Very expensive. So Moneybag loses a population point for that, unfortunately. And uh, this looks pretty good. See, like, I definitely want to mine this tile. Note that I'm just working this unimproved hill tile. Yep, this looks good. Uh, it's at the housing cap, so... Or actually it shouldn't be because it just lost that population point. The interface hasn't updated yet. All right, slowly making progress down there. I'm gonna guess the barbs are up in the tundra. Okay, there's an injured unit. So the barbs are probably up here somewhere. All right, look at this, two food, two production from those districts in money bag, nice. Uh, the plus one food from the campus, the plus one uh, productions from the commercial hub. That two production is gonna help a lot. So yes, as far as like paving a road, it's not gonna do much of anything, but it does get me up to 12 production here, down to 31 turns. Once Magnus is in place, we'll see how much we can get from a chop. So like when this builder is done, I'm gonna move him onto this tile, en route to going to this tile, and we'll see how much a chop is worth right now. Remember, Magnus will be worth plus 50%. All right, how close are we to... We're very close to circumnavigating at this point, so I'm going to try to get that with this um, scout, and then I can double back for Monty's territory. I'm slightly disappointed in myself for um, <laughs> not realizing I wasn't in Corvée. Obviously, I will not chop until I'm in Corvée. I think I can do this in about 15-ish turns, and that should be pretty decent. Pretty decent odds of getting Petra. This game is going to be way more fun if I actually land Petra. All right, Magnus is established. There's a volcano out in the wilderness. So here's our envoy that we're going to send the envoy to Cahokia. And there we go. So we are not the suzerain. We would need four for that. Um, but that's fine. I'm not too concerned. This one, I would act. So the next time I get a governor promotion, I think I want to get Amani and put her into Geneva because that would make me the suzerain and I'd get 15% science. Who actually has um, envoys here? So Alex has two. 
Oh, actually, no. Geneva's starting to die now. Huh. Maybe the AI has actually gotten better at taking cities. They were miserably bad at it in earlier versions of the game. All right, so you're going to the Iron Bags location. Unfortunately, there's no quick way to get there because movement always takes forever in this game. It is one of my least favorite things about Civ 6. Movement is so, so, so slow. In this game. Oh, there we go. Hey, there's the... Oh, actually, Barb's Sword. Okay, that could be um, a little bit tricky. <laughs> if the Barbs have swords. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll scope it out. Maybe we can take them out. Also, I love the fact that this scout has the promotion that lets it move on hills. That's really, really nice. We should be almost circumnavigated at this point. Speaking of slow, Caveman, Caveman to Cosmos is never going to be played. I am not a big fan of Caveman to Cosmos. Alright, let's make sure we're working the tiles I want. So basically I'm trying to work high production tiles. Since we're at the limit on we're at the food limit right now. Now we need to think about what the next thing we purchase is going to be. It could be a no. I'm I'm working on builders right now. What is the next thing I need to purchase? In terms of faith, I can almost purchase a. Um, I can almost purchase another market, which is what I'm going to be using these for for the immediate future. So I got to think about what I want to purchase. Let me just like look in this city, see what I could potentially purchase with gold. Probably not a military unit. The next, so the next settler, you know, next settler, maybe just another settler. Maybe I just keep buying settlers <laughs> for 640 gold. Maybe I just buy, yeah, maybe I just buy the settlers. Remember, Mansa Musa's production uh, malice is for units. And what's it? What is it for? It's where? Where's? Where does it list my stats? Here we go. Um, buildings and units. So it makes more sense to to put the um, gold purchase towards buildings and units. Like it makes just more sense to do it that way. Alternately, I could build. You know, the other thing I could do is I could potentially look to purchase. It doesn't list. Wait, where is it? Can I not wait? Can I purchase? Oh, I can't purchase the. Um, I can't purchase these things. I thought I could purchase the government plaza buildings, but I'm not seeing them show up here, which is weird. Okay, maybe I can't purchase them. Anyway, so yeah, since the since the product since the um, minus to production is on, you can't buy it. Okay. I was thinking that could be a decent target to go after. All right, so let's check this out. I guess I can't check how long it takes to do that for another turn. Anyway, so this city huh, could actually build hanging gardens. Wouldn't even be a terrible, wouldn't be the worst thing to build. Nah, I've got other stuff I should be focusing on. Might not be the worst time to get that spear, get an envoy with, um, that other city. Although no, I'm not in a I'm not in a goge right now, so it's probably you should wait to build the spear until I get the production bonus. So what would we what would be useful here? Pyramids? Could make a fair case for that. I don't have enough population to build another district. Um, maybe we should just actually we could probably use stuff like the monument and granary. That might be bad not be a bad idea. Because I don't think we need more units. I think I'm okay on builders for the moment because I finished this one. I've got another one in production. And like, do I really need the hanging gardens? Probably not. If they're still stick around a little bit in like another 10 to 15 turns, maybe like as they keep getting cheaper. Um, so yeah, we probably want money bags to be able to keep growing onto more tiles. So probably need to do the granary. Library is not a bad idea either. 
Um, and I was thinking monuments also is useful. So Geneva is actually apparently dying over there. I'm kind of shocked. The AI was so incompetent at ever taking cities in earlier build. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Uh, well, that's not good. Apparently there's a barb camp over there. And all my units are out scouting. Uh, well, you can start moving in that direction. I can upgrade this slinger to an archer and that um, will probably be enough. Archers are pretty strong. And you can start moving back, although it's going to take you a while to get there. There we go. I'm in the forest, so I at least get a defensive bonus there. I'm still thinking the bird that there's a the camp is over in this direction somewhere. All right, that should be enough for circumnav. Nope, I need a few more tiles, just a few more. So how about that spear? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's just I'm not in the right policy for it. I don't have the produ bonus to production. I'll see if I can swap into that on my next policy swap. No hour of life is wait. You need to fortify. See, this guy does not have a promotion yet, but will. It'll heal 10 HP, and it will get the fortification bonus and the woods defensive bonus. Yeah, 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 I know it's at the end of the happiness cap. All right, so if we were to chop, so we're at 45. That's not as much chopping benefit as I was hoping to see. So right now, Magnus would be worth, with Corvée and Magnus, it would be 65% bonus on a chop. So how much would that be? So it would give about 75 production. So I could get, if I chop both of them right now, I'd get about 150 production. The thing is I need to save them until I'm ready to finish the wonder because look, I'm actually getting two production from these tiles and I wouldn't, um, I don't wanna actually burn the forest until I'm ready to finish it. So what's, the, what's it at right now? It's at 58, so we're a long ways away, unfortunately. Like I said, that's a little bit slower than I was hoping for. Not much I can do about that though. Well, I can do this. I can research apprenticeship, improve those mines. That's fine. We'll get this when we um, settle iron bags. Still on its way. I'm going to need a builder for that, but I have a builder coming out of mint, so mint can provide that. All right, so you continue in this direction. At least the scout didn't die. I mean, the scout is, you know, really helped me there because it identified a threat bef before it could actually um, reach me. Okay, for some reason, this idiot city picked a one food, three gold crab style over a four food rice style, which is so dumb, I can't really put into words. But at least Eastwatch is going to be done with that. You probably need to head back for a potential defense, too. Just don't die to these barbs on the way. So about 16-ish turns. Well, it will be a little bit faster. I'm going to get into Corvée. The next in four turns when I can change policies. Oh, hello, barbs. Let's detour around you. Yeah, you can... Let's queue up a couple moves for you so we don't have to move you every single turn. So I'm actually measuring up pretty well with all the AIs with the exception of um, Sendiak, who's <laughs> science and culture per turn are pretty absurd at the moment. Hopefully I can catch her over time. All right, you can promote, right? Nope, you're one XP short. Great, 40 damage. Uh, it'll heal 10 health, so it shouldn't die, but let's not take that risk. Let's back off and heal for a couple turns. Over here, oh, of course there'd be a scout. Oh, there's a barb camp over there, okay. Alrighty, you need to do a builder, and I'm actually going to transfer, um, Liang over to that city, to Eastwatch, as soon as this particular builder is done. Uh, 
All right. There's that barb sword. You come on in here and heal, start healing, little scout. You are not in range of this sword, so how about you just chill here for a turn and hope the sword doesn't notice you? <laughs> All right, that will help our coffers a little bit. That looks good for the moment. Definitely wish I had a few more hill tiles here. This tile, um, I'm going to leave alone in for the moment. This guy probably should come down here and mine this tile, because I am working it. I might as well get the extra production bonus from having it in my territory. I'm like slowly making progress down here. There we go. So we completed circumnavigation. So I think we have a decent chance of getting the, a golden age. Because we only need six more points, and we should be able to get stuff for that. Like enough random stuff for that. So looking, looking solid. I'm like, this is not a, if I would fail to get Petra, this is going to be a pretty sad game. Cannot abide anyone who sets out ahead of my own explorer. So he's mad because I got circumnavigation. And there's a storm moving through Korean territory. Oh, what do we get in terms of great people? All right. Well, this is not bad. We did get an extra trade route. Not ideal. Cause I would have rather had Crassus, but better than nothing. And we will get a boost for that, which gives us more arrow points. So we will have to use that great person. So what is it? It is uh, foreign trade routes to the city produce plus two gold to both cities. I can't imagine there's gonna be too many foreign trade routes, but why don't we just use that in the capital? Because why not? Oh no, I have to use it on a commercial district. That's right. All right, so that gives us the ability to put another trader. I think Mint will get that trader for me. And I can use that to run a trade route either from Iron Bag, maybe from Iron Bags to Eastwatch just to get a, tr a road running through my territory. All right, so the barbs have not quite reached Eastwatch yet, which is good. I'm prepared to upgrade to an archer if I need to. Yeah, you just chill there for the time being. Almost there, almost to Iron Bags. And you need to get into the city and start healing there. We actually have pretty good vision on the map here. All right. Oh, great. Two, uh, that unit's probably dead. I thought maybe this slinger would attack, but now there's another slinger. Unfortunate that. All right. So now I'm going to get chased around the map by a barbed sword up there. That was over here. All right, so if I move here, I can't be attacked. Not on this turn, at least. <laughs> it's just funny, I came over here, I was like, oh, cool, I can uh, clear this barb camp for the uh, for the, for the the city-state. And then it's like, no, actually, I'm running for my life from the barbarians. <laughs> also, Geneva's lost its walls, but it still seems to be hanging in there for right now. Still at war with Eleanor. Yeah, Benny Hill, indeed. <laughs> I will say the AI seems to be more competent in the expansion than it was in the base game. Yep, I'm not surprised. Well, it got me the circumnavigation bonus. So that helps. Alrighty, I said I was going to build a trader here. Seems like a useful thing to have. Trade routes are pretty awesome in this game. Alright, so uh, you are going to go for iron bags. That was your goal. Start by mining the hill tile. Start by mining these iron tiles, and then we'll go from there. So, yeah, why don't you just head in that direction? At least we've got plenty of money. <laughs> no shortage of money. So we should be thinking about where we want to put our next city. I think down here wouldn't be a bad option. There's both salt and bananas down here. So like maybe on on this tile, perhaps. Not a lot of land though. But um, some pretty decent, like we could put a harbor district there. Like I said, the salt's not bad. Uh, actually, over here might be even better. Especially if we can get a road to Eastwatch. Now, we will have to deal with the barbarians, but 
I do think the next thing I want to purchase, well, once this is an archer, should be fine. Like archers are pretty strong. Run away from the sword. Yeah, I'll have two archers pretty soon. Yep, just gonna keep stepping away from that barbarian sword who continues to chase me. <laughs> and remember, we have a um, we have a warrior slowly making its way back here. I'll be able to upgrade the warrior to a sword once I have swords connected. Anyway, we can finally now. Um, all right, so we need to switch Liang over to here. Let's just do that while I'm thinking about it. Reassigned to Eastwatch. All right, so that shall be done in time. I don't know about this music either, by the way, you guys. <laughs> Look at this. So we actually do have, you know, I might use the third charge on this guy for, um, for this, because then I could trade the resource. It's not that I actually want to work this tile, which is a terrible tile, but I could, um, like I said, I could um, trade it for money with the AIs or additional happiness resources. Although I seem to have plenty of amenities, so I don't think I need to trade for more amenities. Anyway, so we're going to need to purchase. So we actually have enough. We're just short of enough to purchase another market. It's 190, so we can do that in like two turns. And I want to put it in Eastwatch because I will pr probably purchase my next settler out of Eastwatch. We also still have this spot up here at uh, Singi, which will be a nice city. It doesn't have much in the way of um, housing, but it would be a pretty sweet city. I have to put it on the coast, probably on this tile, because that's a Plains Hill. And then we'd be able to expand onto all those tiles, yeah. Maybe that's the next city. We'll see. It is a very, the one thing about that spot, it is a very safe spot. Like there's no real risk of the AI. Oh, Jebel Morkal, please don't be Petra. And Machu Picchu, okay. Not the one we're going for, thank goodness. <laughs> I mean, we are getting an awful lot of money already. <laughs> and it looks like iron bags can finally be founded. Yes, it will remove the woods. Nothing we can do about that. There we go. All right, iron bags, what do we want for you? Oracle, no. I think we want a, another one of our awesome districts. So it looks like we still do not have the, dis, the discount, um, the district discount yet. And that makes sense because we have unlocked four different types of districts, but we have only built three. Um, we, we have campus entertainment, so we've unlocked five types of districts, but we've only built Campus, Suguba, and the Government Plaza. Yeah, so I still can't get the district discount formula yet. That's unfortunate. Um, I want to put this next to the river, so we'll probably do here, and then we can probably put a Campus District there later on, because it'll be next to the mountains. Something like that. This is just such a good district, it's probably best to just keep building it first in every city. We also might want to purchase a, you know what, it might be decent to purchase a monument because this city is very weak on culture and I do want the borders to expand. So like compared to this city, Eastwatch, Eastwatch actually is working a culture tile so the borders expand faster here so it's less of an issue but there's nothing like that at Iron Bags. So maybe we just knock out the monument immediately. I often like doing that at new cities. Yeah, let's let's do that for a change. And we're gonna run a trade route here for some food. They'll just get this city off to a much faster start. So what's the loyalty in this city? Now I don't get full benefit from that monument until the loyalty is 100%. So I guess I just have to wait a turn. Something like that. Anyway, so we need to choose civics. Um, let's. Let's try to take drama and poetry to halfway, and then we'll hopefully finish it with Petra. Then we can start working towards um, military training. This is a new policy because of the way that uh, resources work in the expansion. Okay. Take Corvée, indeed. All right, change policies. So we're gonna keep Ilkum. 
we definitely need to pick up uh, Corvée. The question is, do I want to run um, a Goge, or a Goji, however you pronounce it, for military production? I don't think so. I think I'm okay for the moment. Because I definitely want to hold these two. So, let's, um, yeah, here we go. Not having that is less than ideal. All right, so apprenticeship will give me slightly more production in some of these cities. This builder can use two charges here locally. I want to farm this tile. I want to farm the rice. I want to improve the silk. And then I can maybe use one charge to chop at the end. Maybe I save the last chop on this builder just for finishing Petra. Because this builder is going to chop this tile. All right, we just need, yeah, and that, and that might not be the worst thing because then I can also check how much um, I get for chopping too. All right, still being, still, still queuing the Benny Hill music. I could actually attack this turn, but then I just get attacked by the sword in return. Yeah, I think I'm gonna upgrade the, and I need to upgrade these slingers into archers at some point too. Fortunately, I've got tons of money on hand. With two archers, I could clear this area out. Don't forget the civic swap. Yeah, I did remember, fortunately. <laughs> so we've got tons of money coming in. That's quite nice. And we'll be able to purchase the market on this upcoming turn too. Yep, still being chased by that sword. Like, I want to sit back and just heal. I could win a round of combat with this. Thing. Like, if I can get one more point of experience, I can take Battle Cry, and then I'll actually be able to fight the sword. But for the moment, the sword keeps chasing me, so I can't do anything. Let's get more info on Korea over here. Korea seems to be winning the game pretty decisively at the moment. Um, but I am very competitive with all the other AIs, except Korea. Obviously not in military power, I have not built units, but no one's really in a position to threaten me except Korea, and Korea's not that much stronger than me. So, I'm not too concerned. She's also um, on good terms with me. We have a declaration of friendship. You have much that I do not. Okay, yeah, Monty's never happy. Like, let's be honest, he always, Monty always hates everybody. In this game, just like in Civ 4. All right, so let's get that market up. This is going to give me four gold for the market and then another two gold because it will, now the um, Envoy bonus from Cahokia will kick in. How did that boost guilds? Oh, was it, what is, is guilds to have multiple markets? Two markets. But yeah, now I've got more money coming in. <laughs> Run away! And keep running! Still trying to get over to that iron tile. Alright, so there's the two culture per turn. And again, notice just how much faster the borders expand. Oh, this is nice. So I can act, can I actually do this? Hold on. Oh, I can't get to this tile. If the borders expand to this tile, then I could get that. But I can't, I can't, you can never swap first string tiles. So like this tile here always has to go to mint. So I cannot send the rice to iron bags yet. But if either of these two tiles gets grabbed by the tile picker, then I'll be able to swap the rice to iron bags. Iron bags is also actually an awesome, awesome city. Look how many hill tiles it has. It's hills galore. This is probably going to be my best city um, late in the game. What I just need is I need to import food with trade routes and build a granary for food and then just work all these hill tiles. This is gonna be an, a really, really good city. Yay, we can finally, finally now heal up for a bit. Heal up for a bit and then go deal with that barb. So I guess I'm not gonna see more of Korea because apparently the land just ends right there. Whoops. And Geneva is still holding out for the time being. I'm hoping that city won't die because then I'll lose my envoy there. All right, 20 turns left on um, on Petra. Remember, it's gonna take a while for this. Wait, did, did this city swap its, uh, why is it now eight turns? Whatever, it's about to grow. I'll finish the builder faster than that. So the Aztecs just expanded. 
All right. Oh, we're up to 67. Oh, I think this is already factoring in. I don't know if this is factoring in the Magnus bonus or not. I guess it is. It looks like it has already done that calculation. All right. It looks like we've got a trade route back again. So we're going to get another trader shortly. And that trader I want to run from... I can run this one to Eastwatch, though. Let's do that, because this will give me more production, and it'll also build a road to Eastwatch, both of which are really needed. And then the third trade route, the one that's going to be finished in Mint, I'll run the, that one from Iron Bags over to somewhere close by. Oh, and we can even build another trader, huh? Nice. Keep running away. Oh, there's even more barbs coming. Okay, yeah, we're going to need to definitely need to get archers, turn these slingers into archers. And we've got a warrior coming for to help out too. Anyway, you go to sleep for right now. Ah, whoops, one thirty-fives. So if we if we get two chops, we can get like one. We'll be up to like one fifty-ish. So I think as soon as this builder is done in Eastwatch, I might just need to walk over here to chop because it's going to take like four turns to walk over there. We'll see. But I think I have a decent chance of getting that. And now that I've said I think I have a decent chance, I'm sure I'm doomed. <laughs> so there's one more Great Merchant. The 100 Faith wouldn't be bad for me. It looks like Mastodon's going to get this one too. But that's fine. Then I'll get first call on the, the one in the next era. I'm still kind of shocked that I'm not just cleaning up on them. Obviously, I have no chance to outrace Korea. It's a great scientist. This was the one I got to use in the... Uh, Play by email seven game. Really nice, great person. So I think I'm going to build another trader out of money bags. I just want to have all my trade routes available. Trade routes are really good in this game. No, the slinger down here is fine. The slinger will be able to escape. <laughs> like I could attack, but it's better just to get the heck out of here. You need to upgrade. You are almost done healing. You are almost back. So we're going to have a nice little Donnybrook with the, <laughs> with the AIs down there. You know, Pyramids is still available. Pyramids is so good, it's probably worth... If I didn't have to buy a tile, I'd say it would be worth going for. There must not be a quite as much um, desert on the map as there is in this area. Yeah, let's get that uh, trader going. Keep filling out these trade routes. Also, now that you can grow, I'm okay with working this tile now that you can grow again as a city. Now that the happiness cap's been lifted a bit. Especially because Pingala's providing extra um, science and culture as the city grows. So we're going to improve this, get our iron going. So that gets us a double boost. Look at that tile yield. Not bad. So then I'm going to go, well, I was going to go improve the other iron, but maybe not. Maybe, well, we're going to have to wait until the borders expand. At least now we've got some iron coming in. We'll need that for upgrading. I guess I'll improve the deer. They did buff camps um, in some of the patches. Like, they're better than they used to be. Looks like this is the dead end down here. So there's water. You can't upgrade till next turn. Okay. All right, I do want that apprenticeship to finish. Improve the deer for food, yeah. Oh, I don't think, I thought, do camps give food? I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Every time the wonder pop-ups, it's like, oh my God, no. <laughs> Very stressful. Again, I'm looking around at the, let's do another quick check. I don't see anyone building, oh, Geneva's probably not gonna last much longer. So the AI, it looks like the AI is better in this version than it was in earlier versions. Now again, I can only see the territory of like two sieves, but I don't see Petra. And it looks like there's a new Korean city too. So it looks like the Koreans have boxed me out to the west so far. You might as well keep healing and try to deal with that barb. I have very few non-hill desert tiles, it's true. Most of my desert tiles are hills. All right, time to upgrade. Only 60 gold, that's not bad. That's like one turn's worth of income at this point. Let's get you moving just to provide vision. So with these two archers, I'll have two archers here. I should be able to take care of the barbs without too much trouble. 
Um, I will not be able to upgrade him until the warrior until I have iron. Now, did you swatch pick the tiles I wanted? Yes, these are the two tiles I want the city working, at least until the rice is improved. So yeah, we'll be able to do the... It, there's, there'll be no growth for the time being, but... Hopefully this trader is not going to get pillaged. This road will definitely help. Every single tile here is, uh, um, is like rough terrain. Alright, let's swap off um, the current Civic and start heading towards... It looks like Defensive Tactics is the more useful tech here. Because it has a Governor title. And I can also get Lemez, which is a great policy. Bags mint, and yeah. So I do need to. I need to upgrade these two archer or slingers to archers, and then we probably will purchase a settler out of Eastwatch next. After that, that's probably the goal. And then Molly, if it can finish the Petra, I'm going to build a holy site right here to boost both of these two, and uh, give me another district for the district discounting formula. All right, let's keep a focus on the... So Geneva's gone. That actually will hurt my science. Okay. Gee, do you think barbarians are approaching the city of Eastwatch? Yeah. I think the scout can just fortify there. <laughs> that city took damage from the flooding. So I now I need to try to get to a golden age. I need to have 10 turns to get five more points. I don't know exactly what will do that. I think, so like, I wish I had a list of what stuff provides that. Finishing the wonder certainly, well, you know what, I'll have the wonder finished and the wonder should give me quite a few points towards that. So note that I can't upgrade the warrior to a sword. Well, I also don't have the tech to upgrade the warrior. I don't have iron working yet, whoops. Building Wonder, Clearing Barb Camps, okay. You just keep retreating here. Oh, this is not looking great for the trader. It looks like it's moving directly into the path of um, this barb. That would not be good. We'll see what happens. Maybe I can kill it. This unit can probably kill this barb camp if it can get close enough. You know, and if it can finish healing, it does have a promotion ready to take. We'll see. Unless there's like archers down there or something. Maybe the trader will move first. Or maybe I can kill the... I can't kill it this turn, unfortunately. Really hope that that's not going to get pillaged. It's just... Literally incredible luck that the barb is moving onto that tile on the exact same turn that the trader is moving there. Just, like I said, really, really horrendous luck. All right, so the camp, yeah, see the camp does not actually provide food, it provides gold. But uh, we're going to be working that tile anyway, so we might as well. Yeah, unfortunately, I think that trader is probably dead, but I there's just there's nothing I can do about it. So we're still at 67, unless it moves first before the barbarian. There's just like the odds that it would move onto that tile on the exact same turn. What I probably should have done is had the slinger just stand on that tile and tank an attack, but like oh no, the trader moved first. Excellent. Trader move. I'm like, yes, the trader move first, and then it's like I move on the road and pillage the trader. Unbelievable. <laughs> what a terrible way to lose a trade route. <laughs> Literally, just <laughs> the odds that it would be on that tile the exact same turn are like non-existent. Anyway, so here's what we got to do. We're gonna have to have you go back here. And then we'll just have to build another trader, unfortunately. So that was just wasted production, but let's we'll just build another trader then, because traders are really good. 
Uh, and let's go for iron working. I do want to be able to connect, uh, to be able to upgrade if needed. All right, I mean, so the good news is I can finish off this stupid sword. If not this turn, then next turn. And then this guy will be able, this warrior will be able to move out next turn. So how much production do I still need here? Yeah, I think that um, I think I'm just about ready to finish this. I need the, I'm just gonna have this worker move over to here and get ready to chop. I need to move there. I do not want to lose this wonder. All right, so you. This city kind of needs, actually, I was going to say it needs food, but it really doesn't need food. It's got plenty of food right there. So, um, I might just want another builder. I think I, since Liang's already here, another builder I think is good because I'm going to, I'm going to purchase a settler out of this city next and I'm going to need a builder for that city. Plus I'm going to need this guy to come back and finish improving. Yeah, how about you just hang out there for now? All right, so this guy will be fully healed. You know, let's start moving right now because we don't have that many turns left to get that golden age. I think Petra will be done and that'll tip me over the top. But So he wants eight gold for eight iron. Um, let's, well, you know, I don't really need this right now. Um... I don't need open borders with him anymore. Let's cancel the open borders. Sure. I mean, this was two turns worth of iron production, so why not? All right. Yes, I penny pinch. I played Civ 3. Sure. You can have eight iron for that. Oh. Well, now this is annoying. So they actually have archers as well now. Archers are actually dangerous. That sword is not terribly dangerous. We'll uh, we'll let that archer move towards us. Oh, the sword is still there. The good news is the archer cannot heal. I'm just going to have that warrior stand there and hopefully tank a shot. Sadly, that road is one tile short of Eastwatch. So I am missing the road connection there. <laughs> Two, one, all right. So fortunately this worker builder will be in place to chop in like two or three turns and then that should be enough to finish the wonder. All right, oh, we finished the trade route. So this one was going to go to Iron Bags. That's right. And then Iron Bags was going to run a trade route to East Watch just to get another road through the area. Hey, Licky Kitty. Okay, so we've now finally finished. <laughs> now finally finished that. And, uh, I, you know, I wouldn't mind making a run at Pyramids here. It appears that the AI is not going for it, and Pyramids is really good. It's one of the best wonders in the game. And I could also chop for it, too. Like, I could chop this into... Uh, you know what, let's, let's, let's change this. What we're going to do is I'm going to get a builder here. And um, if, if the pyramids is not built by the time that the builder comes out, I will swap Magnus into money bags and then we'll chop the pyramids. How about that? I think that's the plan. The trader will die to the sword as well. Are you serious? <laughs> oh my god, I think you guys are right. I think you guys are right. I think that that is going to die to the... <sighs> I didn't even know that that tr sword was still there. You know what? Let's... <sighs> 
let's just start from the beginning of this turn again. I don't want to lose another trait. Another in the freaking barb sword is like in exactly the wrong position. Just start from the beginning of this turn again. <laughs> you guys are like, uh, you do realize the traitor is going to walk right into that again. Uh, like, I understand the idea. You got to protect your roads. You, you got to defend against barbs. It's just this sword is like in exactly the wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> Freaking barbs, I swear. Well, I thought that the I actually thought that the barb sword had attacked me and died. Like I thought that he had actually attacked one of my units and died because he had like no health left. You are blessed with wealth beyond comprehension. But he had moved into the fog. Raise your eyes from All right. Yeah. So he was on this tile last turn. He moved there, there, apparently. Now, again, if this, if the road had finished, I could just move a unit here and shoot him and he would die on this turn. But no, I'm one tile away from the road being finished. So, of course, that's not going to work. And on that note, let's finish this guy instead of leaving him alive with no health. All right. So going back to what we said before, builder, transfer to iron bags. You come up here and you're gonna mine whichever one of these tiles. It's either gonna grab the iron or the copper. At this point, we don't know which one. You are just gonna chill there for one turn and then hopefully reestablish that next turn. All right. I did just wait one turn. That's why I reloaded. Trader's just hanging out there. <laughs> Here we go again. Well, can't really get away now. Unfortunately, I can't get experience, but I'd rather get that hit in. I think that there's a there's another trader here, although I think this one is running back to mint, so I think that trader's fine. And I can repair this tile. I've got the builder who can just repair that tile if it gets pillaged. The scout I want to give me vision. Alright, yeah, you are chilling again for another turn. So again, I don't know which one of these tiles the game's going to pick, although it looks like it's going to pick the copper. So you are going to go over here to... Hey, buddy. I could actually go to Dollar Signs for three production. No need to go to East Watch because we already are going to have a road there. All right, sure, we'll go to Dollar Signs. Now look, Sydney, I'm in the middle of streaming right now. I'll take you for a walk when I'm done, okay? He's getting... He just decided to get antsy. Here, you guys can't see him, so let me put him on the stream for you. He's getting antsy. What? Can you wait until I'm done? It's only 1.30. Normally I take you around 3. You're a good boy. Hey, buddy. Do you want a treat? Yeah? Here, I'll give you a treat. I'll be right back. Come here, buddy. He's a very good dog. He just was getting a little antsy. <laughs> yeah, good thing it is a turn-based game, right? All right, I should be able to clear this. I don't know if this is the barb camp that Fez wants. Apparently someone's attacking Fez. 
It must be the only Civ I don't know. Someone's attacking them. Alright. So yeah, we're almost done with this wonder. Almost. We're almost ready to purchase a settler over here too. Because this the settler's only 640. So yeah. We need to clear out these barbs and presumably go settle this region somewhere in this region. Either that or go settle the Singy area. Actually, this is probably the best tile, although I hate to settle on this tile because it kind of wastes it, but then I can put an aqueduct down. Maybe we settled Singy because we're still dealing with barbarians over here. Anyway, um, I could use this warrior for an escort. Yeah, maybe that's the way to go. This is a pretty, these yields up here are pretty nice. And uh, I can also get a harbor district. Harbor districts were really pretty, quite lousy when the game came out. They're quite a bit better now. Oh, I forgot. We actually finished apprenticeship tech, so we actually got the mining boost. So now mines are actually plus one production for me. Yeah, that's a natural wonder. All right. Dust, oh, are you kidding me? A dust storm as I'm trying to build Petra? All right, hold on. Let's come back to this. All right, so you, Ar Archer, please finish this asshole off. <laughs> All right, there we go. So two more turns. And you can now run to Eastwatch, finally. All right. All right, well, fortunately, it's in the area that doesn't really matter. We have reached size 7, so um, we'll want to put down a holy site shortly. What are we in terms of production? We're, yeah, we're at, we're at like 150 to go, and so these chops will produce... 70 and 70. Yep, they should just, they should both be able to finish it right away. Looking good there. All right, I have no idea where the enemy, oh, the enemy archer is not, I can shoot the archer, but I don't know if it can shoot me back. In any case, it didn't respond, and I'm okay with that. All right, so it looks like the copper is going to be grabbed next turn, so we'll go ahead and mine that tile. Um, now remember, iron bags has very little no natural food, but as a result of having that trade route, we actually can grow at a decent rate. Oh, you know what? Mint can, you know, I'm not working that, that deer tile, but mint can work that tile right now. That's a really good tile to work. There's no need to just let it sit there unused. Yeah. So we'll get that trader and then I probably need to get a granary here. Uh, I can also think about building more districts here too. Like, I might be able to chop something here and build another district. We'll see. All right. So this is a major defeat, but I'm going to be able to promote, take battle cry, and then work on clearing that. And you're going to have to slip around Vilnius again. We have more in common than not. Okay. AI is really schizophrenic sometimes. So that tile was damaged, but we will be able to repair it with a builder. Yeah, so now all my cities have gotten unhappy because that tile was damaged. Oh, great. <laughs> That's lovely. Right as I'm getting ready to attack, it spawns a warrior. All right. <laughs> sometimes I hate this game. I don't like the way barbs are implemented, let's put it that way. So we do need to do astrology because I want to put down a, a holy site soon. Alright, so that um, copper tile is worth a lot of money. Not the greatest tile from a production standpoint, but lots of money. And then you have one more build, you can use that to improve the iron, which will definitely be the next tile. Alright, so what do we finish here? Oh, we finished the district, okay. Nice. So, yeah, Petra should finish next turn. So barring something really bad from happening. I think we actually need a granary here because the city is a low food city. 
So I think that would be the best option here. Unless we finally want to, want to do the spear. Uh, I can't get the spear done in time to renew that before the classical era ends. That's too bad. Oh, anyway. Granary seems like it would be helpful for the extra food. All right, so we dealt with that unit. We didn't deal with that archer. Um, you can start moving up this way. I think I've decided we're going to use the Singi spot for our next city. Just because I haven't really explored down there to the south that well. And this has to be the spot for aqueduct purposes later on that tile. And it does have a lot of good tiles to work. That might be one city we do not build our unique building. Meanwhile, the two archers are going to head down here to the south and clear out whatever barb camp is in the area. And then get ready to keep expanding down there. Oh, the improvement was actually destroyed? Okay. You're right, it wasn't just damaged, it was destroyed. Oh, and this one was destroyed too. Huh. So it took out both of my... Okay, no wonder everything's so unhappy. It took out both of my luxuries. Well, that's annoying. Great. Did this plantation get damaged or destroyed? I think this one was destroyed too. And this one was damaged, I guess. Ugh. Annoying. Well, we can always get more builders out. That's fine. Just my yields dropped by a decent amount. All right, well, here's the, let's finally get the big news of the turn, right? So we're gonna, so we're gonna get 72 production per chop. So that'll be enough to finish the uh, damage the government. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. We do not want to waste any more turns. This is the most important, really important wonder here. So, and you, there we go. Petra is a brilliant display Yay! of man's history in turning barren rock into majestic wonder. Petra can sometimes be overvalued a little bit. Like people exaggerate how good it is in Civ 6. This city is ideal for Petra though. We got knowledge of buttress. That's a new tech. I'm not familiar with that one. Was not in the game previously. Build a classical era or later wonder. Okay, and that also gets us a golden age for the next era. Okay, it's a great question. I, I talked about Petra but I never actually even explained what it did. So what, here, I'll go ahead and highlight it in the city. Uh, it should show, or is it here? Here we go. Uh, plus two food, plus two gold, plus one production on all desert tiles. Um, so it is really good for cities that have desert hill tiles. It suddenly makes desert hill tiles amazing, basically. Let's go ahead and finish repairing that. Yeah, we should repair that first. And then finish the granary. Actually, I'm gonna, actually no, there's more overflow here. Let's do the granary. Um, you are then gonna have to do some work. I'm definitely gonna need these builders. So that's really nice. Look at the, so like, look at the yields on these tiles. Just awesome. Now if I can just get some freaking happiness after losing my, um, Losing all my luxuries to that stupid storm. But I will replace them. Oh, we also got an envoy with them. Okay. Probably not that helpful, but never hurts. And um, let's see, do I need to change policies? I think the current policies I have are fine. Like I could get out of the one that's plus um, wonder building, but I said I'm looking to do, um, I'm looking to go for pyramids. So let's go ahead and establish, let's swap up our governors. We need to do that right now. So let's reassign Magnus to money bags. And then we'll assign Pingala over here to dollar signs. There we go. It'll take them a couple turns to get there. But um, this way we can potentially chop for pyramids. We'll wait, obviously, for Magnus to establish himself. But we could do chop, 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 three. You know, we could chop these three and then um, 
you know, that would basically be Pyramids, just chopping those three with Magnus. And Pyramids gives you a free builder, so... <laughs> See if we can spot. Now that archer should be down here. There he is. Okay. So, I mean, yeah, Petra's highly situationally dependent, but um, in this particular situation, it's really good. So we have a pillage mine and we have pillage plantation. Okay, so this builder here can fix the two pillage tiles. And then I can start mining some of these tiles. All right, yeah, so let's reassign some of these tiles. Obviously, what's good and what's bad has changed as a result of finishing Petra. All of a sudden, these tiles are godly. The Desert Hill tiles become amazing. This one, yes, yeah, so like we need to repair the pillow. Let's repair that. Honestly, these non-desert tiles aren't even very good right now. <laughs> Poor cities are so unhappy. And I didn't even do the biggest thing for this turn, which was to purchase that settler for 640. All right, let's go. So th be thinking about names for this spot up here. Here's the thing about um, Molly. Molly is a, like a very slow sieve out of the gate. Not, not a fast sieve in the early game, but Molly becomes very strong as the game goes on because you just have ridiculous gold buying power that you can deploy pretty much anywhere. All right, you know what, let's... I don't think I can beat this unit even with Battle Cry, so I think we have to run again. Fez, help us! Shelter us from the barbarians, Fez! The Maul, that's a nice name, because Singy has got the, yeah, he's got all the teeth, as you said. So I'm glad that Alexander is not next to me. His military strength is 717. <laughs> um, and the reason why my yields look so bad is because I lost my happiness resources as a result of them getting pillaged. All right. Yeah, you have you have fun with that. All right, now I can finally promote that archer. And the scout's going to be out in front spotting for them. There's definitely a barb camp down here. No question about that. All right, I can't move there. Civ 6's pathetic movement rate strikes again. Anyway, all right, so we've got most of these sailing. I am gonna want harbor, a harbor district for this city. That's probably the first district I wanna plant, but I also need to get a um, engineering as well. I need to get an aqueduct down as well, so we should start going for that. Um, and I will need to build ancient walls somewhere. What's the tech that unlocks them? Masonry? That's easily done in some city. Maybe Mint can do that just cause it's like I said, it's a cheap thing to do. 11 turns. All right, so you just chill out here until the borders expand again. Yes, I can't move you any further, unfortunately. All right, first things first, let's repair this. It does not use up a charge. That will get me down to just minus one amenity. I'm gonna need you to move over here and um, repair it in plantation this next or whatever it is to get my other amenity coming in. You know, she's on good terms with me. I wonder what it would, it, okay, she doesn't have any spare luxuries. That's weird that she doesn't have any spare luxuries. How about Monty? He wants seven gold per turn? No, I don't think so. That's too much. Never mind. Oh, maybe I can get a friendship with him. All right, he apparently loves me. I don't really know why. He sees luxuries he does not have as a right target. Okay, for some reason he seems to like me. I'm happy to avoid a war with Monty right now. Yeah, I'm gonna slip over to this side of the river. Thank you very much. Maybe I'll actually get a chance to promote there and then come back again. So yeah, we're gonna settle there. How much is the next settler, just out of curiosity? 735. It's probably still better for Mansa specifically, not for most leaders, but for Mansa to purchase these as opposed to um, uh, as opposed to building them himself. Maybe I can have this worker, actually this worker might be able to come down here and plantation that. Well, no, but I need the chops for 
How much does pyramids cost again? And I kind of need all three chops for pyramids, unfortunately. We'll see. Oh. He offered me a delegation. Anyway. So I just got a new trader, didn't I? All right. So the question is, what city do I want to bump up? And I think the one I want to bump up is Eastwatch, because Eastwatch can benefit from the growth. Or I could hold this until this new city's founded, but I think that... Hmm... Honestly, no, maybe I should just hold this until the new city gets founded. I wish I could... Is there a way to see how much many more turns your current trade routes have? It says four turns. Okay, so this one's gonna wear off in four turns, so we'll just wait for that to... We'll reassign this one um, in four turns. So this one, let's send to um, Eastwatch and get that city going. Everyone's gonna run their trade routes back to this city, obviously. So you need to go there. Let's have you start with this tile. Still need three turns for Magnus to get established. I am going to need an industrial zone somewhere. So like if I put an industrial zone here, how many tile would that how many cities would that reach to? One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope, doesn't reach iron bags. What about that tile? One, two, three, four. This tile would reach iron bags if I put an industrial district there. Eastwatch would be out of range though. Eastwatch would also be out of range from here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's not even close. One, two, three, four, five. All right, this city is also not in range, so maybe maybe just ignore iron bags and put a uh, put an industrial district like here. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, nope, still not in range of Eastwatch. Would have to be over here. One, two, three, four, five. No, nope, it doesn't matter. I guess I'm overthinking this. This is probably still a good tile. It would reach all the cities in the immediate area. Foreign traders from capital will get you extra gold. That is true. That's something to remember for later. Anyway. Um, just trying to think. I probably do want to get an industrial zone down. I'm just trying to think where the best spot to put it is. I'm trying to get as many cities in range as possible. The problem is all these tiles that are um, desert hill tiles, I want will want to give to dollar signs eventually because they don't get the bonus from money bags, but they do get it from from dollar signs. Yeah, Sydney is he still sees something out there. I don't know. Um. Well, I do need someone to build ancient walls, so why don't we do that here? Oh no, I'm going to be doing pyramid here, so this is not the city. Mint is going to do that. Going to do that. Why don't you just start on the pyramids? Because I can't make up my mind right now. <laughs> we'll put them here, because that tile will not go to dollar signs ever. Like, why don't you just get started on the pyramids? Maybe I can get um, get it down to just two chops instead of needing three. All right, you repair the government plaza. You are gonna build the ancient walls and I am gonna try to hop into Lemez to help out with that. Uh, and then this city's gonna need a granary and it's probably gonna need more builder labor too because look, it's already kind of at the limit. Nice city though with the 14 production. Actually I can do hanging gardens in 10 turns. That's pretty cheap. I'm wondering if it's worthwhile just to build the hanging gardens because they're literally a 10 turn build less expensive than almost anything else. Sure, we'll make a run for it. This is a cultural game after all. What's Temple of Artemis again? Each camp, pasture, and plantation within four tiles produces one plus one amenity. Must be placed adjacent to a camp. That's pretty good. I don't know that I have very many camp, pasture, or plantation improvements though. How many would I have? One. And I think that's it. 
Yeah, okay, so not, not very useful. Hanging gardens, though, we can put right here. Or here. Actually, this tile is probably better because that leaves that open for a food a, a farm later on if we want. Sure, we'll go for it. If we don't get it, we don't get it. All right, you. Oh, you actually can't shoot that unit there. Huh? That's weird. I thought for sure he could hit that unit. Oh well. Just keeping an eye on what's going on here. Also, I'm looking forward to the era changing so I can get my uh, Golden Age. How many turns does this have? All right, you can sleep for a while. That's going to take a little bit. Yeah. Yay, I made it back across the river. Excellent. All right. If that guy wants to attack me across the river, he's welcome to it. With the river bone, uh, with the river uh, penalty, and with me having battle cry, let's see if he does. Smarter would be to walk across the river. All right. Also, that still didn't work out that well, even with the river. All right, so I guess it's back to running again. <laughs> All right, so we get a golden age. Each citizen has extra loyalty. That's great. Can make a dedication. So this is the big one. We got to think about what we want. This one is potentially good. This is probably what we want. Plus two movement for builders is amazing. And settlers being 30% cheaper to build with gold. This is what we want, I think. Because this gets us, um, like this is still early in the game. We're still expanding. This will let us expand faster. So I think that's what we want here. What else do we have? Eureka's provide 10%, provide 50%. Um, oh, this could be really good too. Free inquiry is commercial districts provide gold adjacency as well as science. Mm. So they would each be worth plus two science. That's pretty darn good. Obviously this is for missionary spread, no good. Um, each city receives plus one culture for each specialty district. And that could be useful at some point, but not now. These two are both really hard. I would love to have both of these. It's a question of whether I need to push science more if I want to continue to push expansion more. Hmm. I still don't have a ton of faith. That said, I feel like pushing expansion is better at this point. It's a tough call. They're both really good options, but I think it's early enough in the game that it's more important to keep pushing expansion. So I'm going to go with uh, the Monumentality. So we've got Trigger Eureka for Stirrups and Train a Corsair. So like, let's just see how what a Settler costs to purchase right now. 460, that's, yeah, that's not much at all. It is true that my science is pretty weak right now, but um, again, a lot of that's going to be fixed from my city's just getting out of unhappiness here. And this city up here, well, the Singy city, the mall is going to help with science too. All right, so Ancestral Hall is definitely a little lower priority at this point. What I want to do is I want to get a holy site on this tile here. So let's go ahead and do that. It's quite cheap. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to purchase the tile. But this will boost the two commercial districts here. Once you start putting down, yeah, once I put down the campus districts, it will help. They will definitely be one of the next things to target. So you keep chilling there for now. By the way, I like the way that the interface changes to gold for being in a golden age. That's pretty nice. All right, does not look like there's any enemies up here. Okay, East Watch. Start that route. Oh yeah, we have the four active trade routes. The trade routes are helping these cities a lot. So we're gonna finish that builder. I might need another builder. My cities are growing fast enough that, um... oh, and Pingala will also help a lot too, because this city is size seven. Like, once Pingala's there, I will get plus 
um, science and culture. Alrighty. Can I attack? Nope. Keep pushing forward then. There is the barb camp. Okay. Alright. Scout can't move. They will probably attack the scout, so I'll fortify rather than the archer. And then we'll get some arrow points for killing that. But yeah, I uh, I just I, I love the builders having the extra movement. It's so nice to have four movement builders, and um, I want the I want to keep expanding. Basically, that's the other the other thing I want. You get an extra trade. Oh, that's right. I do get an extra trade route. So first world congress. This is also a new feature in the expansion. I don't know if it's this expansion or rise and fall, but basically we get to vote on different resolutions. So I have not a lot of. Um, favor at 24 I did sell some of it to some of the other leaders so um, plus 10 strength for all units of this resolution I don't even well what religion is it it doesn't say or all you players may condemn units of the chosen religion uh, sure oh do I have to pick so the what are the odds I'm gonna get this right <laughs> I think the odds of me getting any of this right are... How do I get rid of... I guess I have to vote for 10 on something. Well, the problem is I don't know what religion these other ones are running. New built by this player. Oh, this is an unmet player. Wait, I can't vote this down? How do I say no? I'll do this then. Um, I don't really want to pick anyone here. Let's pick Monty. We love Monty. Maybe that'll give us some extra faith with him. I can't remember what religion Monty picked. I don't even really want to... Is, it, like, is there a way to... Is there, is there a way to not vote on anything and just save the diplomatic favor? Because I don't really want to spend this, honestly, but I don't think I have a choice. I think I have to cast a vote for something. Sure. Your first vote's free. Okay. So wait, did my resolutions succeed? Did I get both of them correct? Apparently I got them right. I don't know if that ends up doing anything. So apparently Zoroastrianism is now super powerful in religious combat. Apparently people like Monty. Okay, so do I get anything for... So this lasts for 30 turns, okay. We must restore its independence. So Others have split the vote. Eat. Yeah. Alright. I'm happy to stay. As long as we're at friends, she won't declare war on me. So I'm happy to stay at friends for now. So I got two diplomatic victory points for that. Cool. I mean, at some point, I, I, I do need to address my science. It's pretty weak right now. The AIs are well ahead of me in science. So that is a concern. All right, it looks like there's nothing up here, so I can stop marching up there. At least Eastwatch is now finally connected by road. All right, one more turn for Magnus to be established. All right, now you, let's see what tiles. So I definitely want to mine some of these tiles. This one is still pillaged here. Also, how cool is it that I can actually move onto tiles? There we go. Yeah, see, this is this is the effect of Molly plus Petra. Look at that. Six gold on that tile. Two food, four production, six gold. And that is a, from a desert hill tile, which is normally a terrible, terrible tile. So we're just going to come down here and mine these two tiles. Because these are actually unimproved tiles here, believe it or not. Yeah, and we're just going to keep growing. We'll need to get more housing here somehow, but we'll figure it out. 
it's pretty it's pretty sweet like i said it's not often that you see that but uh this is one situation where it really is pretty awesome so i am gonna have to um i'll have to build the ancient walls but i think i'm gonna try to get the um hanging gardens first we can always swap off and swap back again all right back to the action down here so my um my scout was attacked. That'll take care of that, though. What? Can't actually hit that? How about from this tile? Ugh, stupid hill. Alright. We'll just move here and go around. <laughs> okay, or we can take the boost. Oh, <laughs> we've picked up two boosts there. Construction and shipbuilding. Build a water mill. Okay. I mean, we'll take it. That's one way to get science. Oh, cool. And that scout can promote next turn. Nice. I'll probably give him the move through jungle promotion. Just because there's a lot of jungle there. Alright. You just keep healing. The adventures of this poor, poor warrior. <laughs> who's been off on the side of the world for ages on end. We also have another trade route that we need to pick up. So... That's kind of amusing. If Korea's coming for me, it's true. Undead. Wait, special session? What's this on? I mean, I'll vote for that. Like, do we lose anything if we fail? Because I don't think this is going to happen. Like, if we vote in favor of this and we do not save Geneva, does that... Let's see... Uh, if time runs out, target trader gains 2 gold per turn, gains 200 favor. Um, I do not think that this is going to happen in the next 30 turns, so I guess I should vote against this, because I don't think that's going to happen. Like, I don't think this is going to happen. Well, whatever. Let's just monkey around with her. Eleanor doesn't seem to like us anyway. Nope, it was thumbs down. I wonder if that gives her a grievance with us. Anyway. Alright. So we are going to want Lemez soonish, but not quite yet. Um, I think I might hold off on drama and poetry just for the moment. I will swap, hold that off until I'm ready to flip civics. Alright, Magnus is established. And Pingala's established. Didn't end up adjusting my science by very much, though. Anyway, so let's chop that for the pyramids. Plus 81. And we'll finish it next turn. Well, we'll finish it as soon as we can chop that, which will be shortly. Um, boy, we need more tiles for the capital to work, don't we? This is not ideal. Um, boy, I hate having this tile unimproved here, but I actually don't see something better to work. I'd rather work that tile than the market tile, than like the market. I probably should have started on this tile. Oh well. So you come down here. Oh, not quite enough movement to move down there and still improve the tile. Oh, whoops, I was moving the warrior in the opposite direction, wasn't I? Mints out of housing. Well, Hanging Gardens will give it more housing, I think. Can't remember if that's how that works or not. Yeah, let's get rid of that unit. I wanted to move to this tile and the stupid <laughs> Macedonian units in the way. I don't want to move here because then I just get attacked, so I guess you just chill for right now. Move through Rainforest. That'll be super useful. So there's a Korean... Let's follow this Korean settler and see. Um, Korea, fortunately, is not coming after me right now. But geez, Korea's science is absurd right now. 70 beakers per turn. Like, she's well into the medieval era. Like, nobody else is even remotely close to her. I am really going to need to improve my science. That's going to have to be the next thing to do after I finish with this wonder stuff that's going on right now. 
because I can't afford to be that far behind in science for too long. She, she seems to be the runaway in this game right now amongst the AIs. What the? Where did this come from? Are you kidding me? How did a barbarian scout get through here? It, I guess that means there's a barb unit somewhere up there. So we're going to have to train a military unit out of iron bags. Also, I did not end up changing my um, civics, but that's fine. What I have right now works just fine. I guess I have this unit that I could squeak through Korean territory. I guess I'll try to do that before he gets cut off completely. Oh, hey, look, the decided to abandon. All right. I can promote if this archer gets attacked. I have a promotion saved up there. Now watch, a barb unit's gonna spawn between turns. All right. Yeah, this is looking, this city is looking pretty disgusting. <laughs> I just need to keep improving its tiles. Uh, the other thing I need is I need the borders to keep expanding. Like I, I don't even have a monument in here though, so I should probably do that. And maybe actually the ancestral hall would be nice because then I get the free builder. But I might want to get a monument. I also need to get a campus in here at some point too. All right, so you need to go there and then we'll chop and finish pyramids next turn. All right, the mall is finally going to be ready. If it feels like things are often slow to develop in this game, that's because they are. <laughs> I'm going to need a few more farms for feudalism, too. I do not have the six. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so for this city, I uh, can't put down another district yet. We will probably want to put a campus on this tile in time just because it's got the double adjacency bonus and it's next to that. So I probably should chop on this tile, honestly. We have a couple things to do here first though. I, I probably want another builder here just because I, I'm gonna need it for up here, that city. Like I would like to connect this and then I want to chop this and put a campus down. I'd actually like to chop into that, which I need to, uh, let's see one. By the way, I love that. <laughs> Being able to just move onto the tile and improve it instantly is so nice because it's three turns until growth. Then I can move here and then I, yeah, if I want to, Yeah, you have to chop it for something else and then put the campus. Well, I can chop into the builder. That'll work. I know there's. No, I know I don't have Magnus here, but we can we can chop into the builder and then use the overflow for the campus and send one builder up here. Remember, we're getting ready to purchase the next. Wow, that settler's only four sixty. We we can almost purchase that settler. We need to get the ancestral hall finished so we'll get free builders in new cities. <laughs> Stupid barbarian Scott. All right, so we finished a granary here. So I think now's the time to build that spearman <laughs> that we referenced from before, which will give us an envoy for finishing it. Is this your last charge? Okay, well, it was worth it because this city is now freaking awesome. Even with the even with the housing penalty, it's still growing at a tremendous rate. <laughs> what an amazing city, seriously. Um, what I want to do with, so here's what I do with my next couple promotions for the governors. Where are the governor promotions? If I go to Pingala, where are they? I can assign this and get crazy culture or I could assign, wait, do I have an extra promotion I wasn't using for governors? I have a, wait, what the, I had a governor title I wasn't using. Oh my God. All right, well, let's get researcher here. I didn't even realize that. Because that gives um, that gives plus one um, science per population point, and this is a, a size eight city, so that would instantly like half again my um, research, which is what I need to improve right now. 
All right, Elsa, we're going to get the pyramids, by the way. From the height of these pyramids, 40 centuries look down on us. I'm really surprised the pyramids are still sitting there. Really good wonder. All builders for the rest of the game get plus one charges. Plus we get a free builder. Um, I don't think they, I don't think any of them go obsolete in this game. Good question. All right, so now I've got an extra builder here, which is great because the capital could use some builder love. All right, so first things first. We, wow, we've got, we've got really good production here at the capital. Um, yeah, see now we're up to 29 science per turn. That's looking a lot better. I think that the, yeah, I think that, oh, and we can even transfer. Oh, and the other thing is when you finish a wonder, you get more tiles, like you get two tiles for free. So yeah, now we can assign, oh, yeah, hey, look at this. Now we can assign, wait, what the, why does it look like that? Maybe it'll get corrected next turn. There we go. I don't know why this city is not showing the really high tile yields. Anyway. Buddy. Hey, let me see what he's working at. Hey, buddy. Can we chill up? There's um, the U there's a UPS truck in our little courtyard here. I gotta, I can't move the computer. This is a desktop, not a laptop. But I'm gonna take a picture of him and show you what he's doing. It's okay. Here now, I don't know. Let me hold on. I'll show you it on the broadcast for. Let me. Switch this over here. I don't know if you can see this. I'm gonna. I'm holding up the picture. This is him. He's sitting on the bed. He's staring out the window, and he's barking at the UPS truck. I don't know if you guys can see that, but <laughs> that's what he's doing. Anyway, he's okay. Uh, what mod gives the resources under the leader? This is not a mod, so it's a, it's a standard feature. A really good question. I actually showed this at the start of the broadcast. You go into options, and you go under interface, and it's this, show yields in HUD ribbon, and you change it to always show. I have no idea why that's not enabled by default, but it's actually not a mod. It's part of the game. Oh, and we also get a new city this turn. Excellent. So this is the mall. Apparently we also get plus three era score for that too. Nice. I would so hopefully we can get another golden age following the current one we're in. There we go, the mall. So we're going to need some additional housing here. So we will probably purchase a granary. Um, actually, I want it to work this tile because it will actually give us production here. So I'm probably going to purchase a granary, and I the first district I actually want is a harbor district but I don't have that unlocked yet. So why don't we just have you do monument for the time being? We're gonna purchase a granary there, but first I want to purchase a settler in Eastwatch and get the settler moving down here to the south. And um, I'm gonna to toss down an, um, a, an aqueduct as soon as I can, can do so, but I need to finish ancient walls first. So. As soon as we're done with Hanging Gardens, we'll swap civics. We will drop the, um, uh, what's the word? I'm, we're, we'll drop Corvée, which is the wonder building policy. All right, so I've got more charges to play around with here. The capital definitely needs improvement. This builder will um, mine that tile. And what else can we do? Do we have the ability to build, um, um, whatchamacallit? So we can't build lumber mills yet. Uh, I definitely want a lumber mill on that tile. Plus two production. So that's what we should do. We should get engineering to half and then um, 
finish it by boosting it and use a charge. We can have, probably have this builder use um, mine that tile and lumber mill that tile. That would be the most important thing to do there at the capital. I still do not understand why this tile is not getting the Petra bonus. Let's see if that trick um, flips over next turn. And the other thing to do is we can have the capital um, get down an industrial district. Again, I'm, I can't find a good spot to put it on. Maybe this tile, one, two, three, four, five, six, no. I guess it would have to be here because that would get the iron bags, mint, money bags, and dollar signs. It is getting the Petra bonus. It doesn't look like it. <laughs> Maybe it's just because we changed it mid-turn. I don't know. Well, anyway, so that guy's gonna improve those two tiles. Um, look at, I mean, the tooltip shows it. Graphically, it doesn't show up. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll correct next turn. It's just a graphic bug, okay. Yeah, I think you're right. There we go. Yep, okay. So in that case, you come down here and improve that tile. That would be the way to go then. Weird that that guy only had two movement. So yeah, then in that case, we're gonna mine that tile next. Two food, two production, two gold. All right. So yeah, we're going to swap civics as soon as Hanging Gardens is full. And I said industrial zone, yes. So I think this I think this tile has to be at one, two, three, four, five. Six. Yep, because this tile will reach iron bags. This will be our industrial district for the area. Like this tile has a bigger base bonus, but um, this tile actually gets actually reaches iron bags within six tiles. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Only four turns to build. That's nice. Wait. Oh, we also need to improve this tile too. This tile is also being worked and it's not in mind yet. It's hard to tell because those tiles are so amazing. They look like they're improved tiles, even though they're not. All right. Let's get rid of you. Goodbye. And you can keep scouting down here in the jungle. There's still quite a bit of the map left to explore. And we can get rid of this pin now. So we're gonna purchase a settler next turn in Eastwatch. Oh, we have a great person. Oh, cool, we got another, another gain a free trader unit and increased trade route capacity. Trade routes, wait, don't I already, didn't I already have a great merchant that did like the same thing? Am I crazy or didn't my previous great merchant do the exact same thing? Hold on, where's the list of previously recruited? Where are we on here? Foreign trade routes provide plus two gold to both cities. Foreign trade routes to the city provide plus two gold to both cities, yep. There we go, first things first. Jeez, we're up to 107 gold per turn. This is getting crazy. <laughs> my my money needs, seems to know no bounds. So can we like do this for double? Nice, all right, so now you can go to the new city, the mall, and then that'll run a trade route down there and that'll really help the mall get started. So what did we just finish? Okay, so we finished the holy site. Oh, okay, so what are what are our, um, yeah, so we should be getting an even bigger adjacent, we should be getting even more from the um, districts here. So you get a plus two adjacency bonus for each adjacent holy site, nice. Is dating no district still doable? That's a good question. I don't know if I'd wanna play that again because it actually wasn't all that much fun. But um, it's a good question for sure. All right, let's get the ancestral, oh, where's um, this one? Let's get the ancestral hall done first so that we can get free builders at each new city. Oh, and I almost have enough to purchase a market. 
Like I almost have enough faith to purchase a market, so that's nice. Cool. Let's let's purchase that. Um, and now you need to come over here. Let's purchase that settler. Oh wait, no, I can't purchase a settler yet because if I purchase a settler, it's going to lose a population point, and I can't put a, a district down. So we're going to have to wait a, t a turn or two to do that because I'd lose a pop point if I purchased a settler. Oh, oh, I don't even have enough yet. Okay, so I'd have to wait another turn anyway. That works. Okay. Yeah, one of you should grab that. I'll take the three era score for that. Promote you. So there's still, yeah, I mean, there's still a fair amount of um, territory down. This this area here seems to be completely unclaimed. So that's going to be where we're going to be focusing our settling next. Like this area is a bare desert. I don't see much immediate priority to settle there. Also, Korea is looking a little feisty over here. Oh, I got trapped on the wrong side. Their borders expanded. Well, this unit is now unable to <laughs> unable to get into unable to pass through that's a little bit unfortunate but that's life at some point we are gonna have to build some more military units i've been running like no military forever all right now that we are back up to full let's see if we can go out to this barb camp again ah uh, that dude is low see the one thing is barb units do not heal so you um you don't have to worry about that Macedon has declared war on England. Yes, please fight each other. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, well, you guys are up. Back to barb clearing duty. At least I knew about it. See, the one nice thing is the game will notify you if there's a barb camp in your territory. All right, so we're going to run this to um, back to dollar signs. If you're curious what the other cities would do, you can see there. But plus three food, plus three production is just gigantic for a new city that's starting out. And we really need a road over here anyway. Alrighty. So now that we've got that, yeah, we actually, look at this. We now have plus seven food and plus seven production. So the city grows at a pretty decent rate. And it's going to grow onto some really amazing tiles. Now we need to switch off engineering and onto construction. This poor builder is waiting to be able to improve that tile. Moneybags is has some bad tiles too. All right, you can't quite finish that yet, but uh, you'll be able to mine that next turn. Jesus Christ, this city is unbelievable. Iron Bags is a pretty darn good city too. All right, so the iron's gonna grow next, gonna expand next turn. And I haven't talked much about Mint because this city's been stalled out for lack of housing, but this is a pretty sweet city as well. All right. Okay, so you need to um, chop the, there we go. Note that the builder has five charges. Thank you, Pyramids. Thank you very much. And you're going to go up there and help them all for right now. While farming this tile along the way, because why not? Eastwatch, we're going to put the overflow. We, well, we want to go into campus. I don't know how much overflow we got here. Uh, I guess technically I should have waited one more turn. That's OK, though. Maybe this should be the city that builds the... Uh, no, I want to build the campus next. I was going to say maybe this should be the city that does ancient walls, but I want to get a campus here next. You uh, just put whatever extra you have. All right, there was like no overflow. Just put it into the granary then. Oh, I think this might be the last sieve we haven't contacted yet down here. So yeah, we're, um, we're looking pretty good as far as territory goes. Like we're keeping pace with the AIs. If you notice that overall score, note that we're pretty getting closer and closer to the AIs. We've also passed pretty much everyone other than um, Korea. We're like at a point where we're, we've caught up to them. Uh, it's just Korea is the one we're going to have to run down in this game. And that's going to be tricky because Korea looks like a runaway. 
Um, that said, the AI still is not very good at warfare, so we can probably um, take down Korea if it gets to that. All right, back to the barb camp again. Want to get that three era score. <laughs> Fortunately, Korea loves me, so I don't have to fight Korea until I'm in a position where I need to fight Korea. <laughs> Thankfully. All right, so now we're size four. So now we can place the campus district. It's a nice spot. Note that the campus district is plus three here. Nice adjacency bonus. Okay. I have three charges left here. You farm that for me. Now we're going to purchase the settler here. Only 460. What's the next one? Only 520. Like, I'm just going to be cranking out the settlers, probably mostly from Eastwatch. I don't want to get them out of um, this city, out of dollar signs, because I want Pingala to benefit from having the extra pop. And there's just so many good tiles to work here. There we go. All right, now the that bug has resolved itself. <laughs> I cannot get over this town. This city is so insane. Um, so we're going to want to put an aqueduct on this tile, I think, for the extra housing. And campus maybe over here long term. I'm not even working this rice tile right now because the city's at the housing cap and there's not much point in doing so. I need a builder for mint and drain the swamp for a lot of food. Yeah, something like that. So what am I waiting on? Um, this one, is it even worthwhile to build? Maybe it's better just to finish the, I do want to put down these Hmm, no, I probably shouldn't waste the science. I can build ancient walls pretty quickly at mint, particularly if I go into a goge policy. I can build them in like two or three turns. All right, now you at Eastwatch. So Eastwatch is working pretty much its best tiles. Uh, I think I probably want to mine on this tile though. And seriously, it's so nice to be able to just move onto the hill and mine it immediately. Really, really nice. So yeah, the campus is only 12 turns. That's pretty good for a district. Meanwhile, you are going to come up here and help the mall. Uh, oh, that's right. I want to purchase the granary in the mall next because I want it to be able to keep growing. It's It's got really good tiles to grow onto. So being able to grow onto them is, is worthwhile. Is the AI capable of winning a domination victory? I doubt it. It's better than it was, but I still don't think it's very good. Let's have you head off in this direction just to scout for the time being. Just like to keep an eye out. So we need to figure out which city, which tile we're going to put this city on. These archers are still back on barb busting duty. Let's see. So any of these tiles over here are eligible. I will want a city over here as well, eventually. Just it's a lower priority because it's not no fresh food. So there's a silk resource here. This tile here with the forest wouldn't be terrible because there's some good tiles in the immediate radius and more stuff in the third ring. And then I also want to preserve all the other things. Let's see if I'm here, I can go one, two, three. And then I could put another city here also on the river. So probably there and then another city down here, probably. It helps that it's close, so it's easy to get started. Particularly if I can get a trade route in there early on, it would help a lot. One of these cities doesn't, you know, the capital is probably going to do a trade route next. All right, so let's mark that for right now, just so I don't forget. And we'll tentatively put one on this tile too. There we go. And then down here, we're, we're still exploring the rest of the map down here. So let's see. All right, so the last one is Suleiman. The silly man, he does have a bit of a funny hat. So we've got the silly man, what's he building? Kot Kotoku Inn, I don't know what that means. We're the first to meet everyone in the world. That's a nice era store boost. So we should easily be able to get a golden age. Our next golden age, we will definitely pick the one that gives um, 
we'll definitely pick as our next golden age the one that gives the extra science for being next to campus district or uh, extra science for commercial districts yeah so things are coming along pretty well it's just korea has absurd science but otherwise we're in really good shape And then this builder can come down here and help this new city get started. Or actually I might farm that tile first, just, just because. Or alternately, you know what, well I am going to get a free builder with four charges when I found that city. Uh, well, if I wait for the Ancestral Hall, although it's probably going to take that long to get down there anyway, because movement is so slow in this game. It'll probably take roughly that long. So I could also have this builder here. I could have it chop this and then um, chop it and then mine that tile, which probably would be a, useful for finishing the campus. So I'll probably do that. So I have two charges left. How can you let Barbarian join amok so close to home? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cry me a river. A lot of units over here. Oh, money bags is... Yeah, once more. All right. So what we need to do right now is we need to set up a civic swap for next turn. So we're gonna finish drama and poetry next turn. <laughs> the workshop is 21 turns. I still think that it's such a bad deal overall. Um, so the city is run out of housing. It still needs more. It's still weak on improved tiles, honestly. It's even got someone crammed into the marketplace right now. It's definitely not, uh, definitely not in great shape over there. Unfortunately, there's, n uh, there's not a lot of stuff I can put on those tiles. I guess I could put farms down. You're, this guy's waiting for the lumber mill. I guess I should improve this tile, I guess. It's either that or work on this city, but this city already has a tile to grow onto. <laughs> it's going to grow onto the mountain next. Great. That's the, that is definitely the most useful tile is the mountain. <laughs> Don't grow onto that desert tile. That would actually be useful. Anyway. So what we can always do is we do need more traders. So why don't we just knock out another trader since there's nothing too compelling to do. Yeah, and the cities are at the housing cap anyway. So yeah, we're going to set up a policy swap. Um, I need to build here at Mint. I need to, uh, and look at this, we've got this to improve. There we go. I think I was actually a turn or two slow in doing that. Yep, this city's pretty awesome. It just needs food. It's going to slowly grow. Like it's at only plus three food per turn. I think I might have iron bags work on some military. I think I'm going to switch into, well, I can't, I was going to say I switch into a goge, but I can't do that because I'm going to need Lemez to build ancient walls. But um, after that, maybe run some agoge and build some military out of some of these more mature cities. All right. So you, I think I'll improve the incense. At least that gives me another tile to work, even though it's not a very good one. All right, you can chop this. Didn't help that much, but we're gonna want to work that tile anyway as the city grows, which it's growing very, very quickly. So we're gonna want to work that tile anyway after we grow. And you are gonna come down here and it's gonna take you about as long as it takes to finish the ancestral hall to get down here anyway. Meanwhile, they're coming over to deal with that barb camp. You just hang out up there for the moment. Um, there's a room for a decent city up here, too. Like, there is a lot of desert, but desert's not terrible with Mali. This tile right here, I think, is another spot we want a city. Because it's got the salt resources. It's obviously nowhere near as good as the mall, but... Um, like, it's not a terrible city by any means. What happened to the... Oh, there's the worker. I was like, what happened to the worker that was over here? So, yep, so we've got some great stuff to do. We can um, mine this tile. We can uh, pasture that, pasture that. We can improve the quarry this tile. Mall's going to be quite good once it gets its aqueduct. 
All right, we're back. Back again, baby. And then this unit's just exploring down here. A lot of desert down here. Oh, I don't think I ever tried to... We were able to get a friendship, send him a delegation, improve relations. He obviously likes us for some reason. When can we start getting alliances? Because alliances are pretty cool. We're on good terms with like half the AIs in this game. Let's just do a quick look at the AIs and see what they have. All right, so he's got some great works. He only has five cities. We already have six. Let's see Korea. All right, so Korea has one, two, three, four, five, six, has seven cities total. She has a lot of the um, great works. If we trade her all our iron, would she give us a great work? I doubt it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll do that. Nine gold per turn for the Iliad for a great work. Yeah, I'll take that. I can keep this forever for the rest of the game. Nine gold per turn is nothing for me. So where do I... Uh, does that go in my palace right away? There we go. I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> like that's, so that nine gold per turn out of my 118, yeah. I mean, yes, I did also lose all my iron, but whatever. Okay, so that was fun. Let's keep looking at the other AIs. So she is the one we have probably the worst relations with. One, two, three, four, five, six. So she has seven cities. Join ongoing war. What's her current war? Oh, she's at war with Alexander. That's right. Yeah, you two, please keep just fight each other. They're close to each other. Yeah, by all means, fight each other. Oh, she is much weaker than Alex. <laughs> I'm not sure this is going to work for her. Although Alex is the one who started it. 843. So he has one, two, three, four, five. He has six cities as well. So I was behind the AIs, but now with me making all this money um, and me just purchasing settlers left and right, I should start to get past them in size. And then just to wrap this up, Monty, the only one we haven't looked at yet. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he has seven. So we've almost caught up to the AI in expansion. We do already have a settler out on the map for our seventh city. And while we're at it, we can go ahead and purchase the granary here. Which the city's going to need because it had just hit the um, um, health, the housing cap. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? I had the hanging gardens one turn from completion. Are you kidding me? She finished it one turn before me. Are you? Are you kidding me? That's ridiculous. I mean, I can, at least I didn't lose everything, but still, that's, oh my god. <laughs> uh, at least I did get something. You didn't get anything uh, in earlier versions of, uh, of Civ 6. Whatever. Ugh, all right. So the question is, what else, if anything, do we want to put down? We could put a holy site down here. Where's the commercial district again? No. Commercial, dist commercial district's over here. You get fail production from Wonders. This Maybe this is not the best city for this, but a campus. See, the problem is my best. some of my best tiles are here, so I don't really want to lose... Some of these good tiles. Ugh, annoying. Could try to go for a theater square. Actually a plus three theater over here because I've got the pyramids. That's, you know what, let's do that. I hate wasting this much t t money on tile purchases, but uh, that seems like the way to go. Anyway. We could always build uh, on this tile later on. Oh, apparently we have another charge left. I thought that that was all the charges that I had. 
Nope. Looks like I had one more left. Okay. Well then, why don't you come down here? See, the annoying thing for Mint is I was kind of relying on the Hanging Gardens to give me plus two housing, which the city needs. It doesn't have much in the way. It, it could use housing uh, pretty badly. Also, I am swapping here so we can drop this and get the plus 100% for um, defensive buildings. Builders. Am I actually constructing any builders right now? I don't think I am for once. Yeah, I'm actually not getting any builders for once. So we can drop that too. So towards defensive buildings. And uh, the plus two gold for all trade routes might be worth, would be pretty good at this point. It has to be an economic policy because I can't put a military policy in that last slot. So yeah, I think that's good. Need tile farms for food, but you don't have the tiles for them. Yeah, it's true. All right. So that is a really um, bad tile. But what we can do is we can trade this to someone for something. We're actually good on amenities right now. We could try trading our extra for money. That's all he's got. Let's see if someone else has more. No. Yeah, 12 gold per turn. Works for me. That's pretty good. That just paid for that great work. All right, see you later, buddy. So that's why it was worthwhile to drop that down. I can't believe she finished the Hanging Gardens the same turn. Oh, hey, we've, we found the game's most overpowered city-state, non-Madol. <laughs> they want me to build an industrial zone. I just finished one, unfortunately. So anyway, we're still exploring down there. All right, so you now finally get to start improving tiles. Actually, so I could quarry this. I actually get more for mining this tile than quarrying that tile because my mines are so absurd as Molly. There we go. So I did change per civics and I can watermill this tile next turn. I'm gonna finish that. You come down here. Don't stand next to the barb scout if you don't have to. Uh, and now we'll go back towards feudalism. How many farms do I actually have, just out of curiosity? I don't think I have anywhere close to six. One, two, three, four. I have four, so if I farm this, that gets me five, and then I can probably just toss another one down somewhere. All right, so I'm close enough that it's probably worthwhile to get the boost. So we do have an envoy to send, oh shoot. I should have dropped, I should have swapped into the two for one policy, because I'd love to get that with, uh, Fez. Oh well. That's fine. And I could have gotten the two for one with Vilnius too. Dang it. That was a real mistake. I should have swapped into the two for one policy. Big mistake there. I'm not gonna reload, but it was a it was an, an error to be sure. The other thing that nice would have been nice, I mean, getting the Hanging Gardens would have provided housing for Mint. It would have um, gave me given me two more tiles, which would be nice. And it also would have been worth 15% uh, faster growth in all cities for the rest of the game. So yeah, that would have been nice for sure. But say la vie. Now the Aztecs are at war with the Ottomans. Okay, natural disaster occurring. With the so it doesn't look like we're going to have any trouble getting the next Golden Age. We're very close already. So Ottomans and Aztecs are at war. Well, they're quite a bit stronger. So far, no English cities have been captured, although this one is under siege, which is not a good sign for Eleanor. That river is close to us, but not actually there. So we are, And we did complete that quest for Vilnius. So now we've got one envoy with Vilnius. Unfortunately, the city-state I most wanted to become suzerain of was the one that was taken out. Now, Nanmadol 
could be nice. Although I don't have a lot of stuff that's next to coaster lake tiles. I don't have a lot that are next to coaster lake tiles, but um, I will have some districts that are next to, oh geez, why did I just improve this tile? This is the tile I'm gonna put the aqueduct on. Oh well, that was a waste. Literally the aqueduct tile. Not my smartest decision there. Just wasted a builder charge for no reason, okay. Oh well. So Mint, go ahead and do your ancient walls. And that'll finish engineering. Let's um, let's grab Celestial Navigation. I do want to be able to put a harbor district down at this new town. And I don't think there's anything else immediately coming up that's super valuable for me. Like, I'll just get some progress on the top side of the tree next. Sadly, I cannot attack and kill that unit yet. This is a city that actually would benefit from a water mill just for the food, but there's no resources, so it's probably not worth... Oh, wait, don't I have... Isn't there one that boost, gets boosted by building a water mill? Or did we already finish that? Did we already miss that one? I think that might have been... Construction. I don't see the water mill boost at this point. All right. Oh, we have kill a unit with the spearmen. <laughs> also, it looks like this is no longer an optional tech like it was in the earlier. Construction. Okay. I've already got that then. <laughs> kill a unit with the spear. All righty. Um, we also have enough now to purchase another market. Uh, with uh, We have just enough faith to do that. So the question is, what place do I want to do that in? Iron bag seems like a likely candidate. Because I already have them in Eastwatch and Money Bags and Mint, I believe, also has. No, Mint doesn't have a market yet. Okay. Maybe Mint should do it. Oh, and I can also. Why? Well, I can purchase builders for 90 faith? Wow. I need to get some more faith going. That's really quite cheap. Really, like, super duper cheap. Um, but yeah, let's get the. Because we'll get another trade route as soon as we finish that market, so we should definitely do that instead of uh, trying to build it. Yeah, as soon as I finish this ancient walls, I really want to swap into a goge and build some units. I just, I would feel more safe if I had some more units. This is not really a safe uh, number. So let's just go ahead and we'll do an, uh, try to get an archer here because there's no districts to build there. All right, so trade route. How many trade routes do I have currently in dollar signs? Just out of curiosity. Um, dollar signs to East. So I have one going to East Watch right now. I probably do not need two trade routes from this city. Although I do, I'm gonna have another trader finish soon. So um, Let's send this to the capital, because I don't have any trade routes in the capital, and just see what effects that would have. Like, usually trade routes are best for boosting cities that aren't that strong. Although it doesn't hurt to boost strong cities, too. Anyway. How many charges? Only one build left. Why don't you come over here and improve one of these tiles at Mint? Probably this tile here. I can't cross the river this turn. Yeah, this city needs an aqueduct too. I've got a lot of cities that need aqueducts. <laughs> or I could mine this tile. That's That might be a better choice too. Yeah, because this then I could drop this tile. All right, let's do that. Hi, uh, Krat Kratzenstein. All right, we can finally build the lumber mill here. Take that boost. There we go. I really dislike working that tile. Um, and I can actually do that. So let's go ahead and make that swap. Okay. You have one charge left as well. Okay. Um, that tile is going to go for a campus eventually. So why don't you just improve something? One of these tiles, iron bags can grow onto this tile and work it later. 
What the? No. We're, oh. Wait, did I not improve the iron? Did I not mine this tile? I thought I... Oh, apparently I didn't mine this tile. Huh, I could have sworn I did. I guess I moved on to the tile and never mined it. Wow. Huh, I guess I need to move this guy up here to mine that tile. Huh, that's a mistake. Oh, well. God, it takes forever to move these units sometimes. At least the Ancestral Hall is going to line up nicely with this city getting founded. It is mined. Is it? Oh, it is mined. Okay. Nope, you're right. You're right. It's just a question of what I prefer more. Do I want one more point of production or one more point of science? Okay, it is. I'm wrong. <laughs> hey, welcome, Neil. This poor archer can't even move, thanks to a traffic jam. All right. Keep hitting that. You can hang out over here for the time being. And you keep exploring. Oh, there's more good land down here. Well, hopefully the AIs will waste their time fighting each other. Like, Monty is at war with um, Suleiman, and Alex is at war with Eleanor. He's got Stoke-upon-Trent under siege. Let's see if anything changes. Yep, taking some hits there. I'm just content to keep building for right now. This is large, mate. Yep. Oh, you actually... Oh, I still can't. Still can't hit you there. Really want to kill that unit. Unfortunately, the scouts can be tough. All right. So this is not ideal, but... All right. What do we want? We want to be working that tile and that one. All right. We don't want that until we have more food coming in. I know the city is technically starving for right now, but it's like whatever. It's not close to losing anything. All right, so here's, remember how we burned those two um, great merchants here in this city? Look what we can get. If we run it to the Koreans here, we can start getting all kinds of crazy gold. Yeah, five gold from other bonuses. That seems like it's more worthwhile than, um, well, I mean, on the other hand, do I really need the money? But it would be nice to get a road running down here too. So why don't we go ahead and start that? I am tempted by running this trade route too. Three food, three production. But um, Moneybags is already at that uh, food cap, so it doesn't really need food. So let's go ahead and try this, and we'll at least get another road. All right, flooding somewhere. Archer. I'm definitely going to need a road from this city back to dollar signs. All right. So if I take this camp, this warrior is going to die. It'll be killed by this sword. The question is, is it still worthwhile to do that anyway? I'm going to say no. Let's just fortify for one turn and see what happens. See where that sword moves. It's possible that it'll move in the other direction. I don't think it's likely, but it could happen. All right, so we've got those tiles improved. Let's get the horses and... I have two builds left. I really wish I hadn't wasted one on that tile. Probably just have to do the uh, the quarry and the horses, probably. I guess that's my first horses resource coming in. Ideally, I'd love to chop this into like an aqueduct. So I'm aiming for cultural victory. That was my goal. That's why I named this game Museums of Mansa Musa. So far, I haven't done much with tourism. But um, fortunately, tourism is something you can really ramp up later in the game. It's not really so much about wonders as getting the uh, seaside resorts. Where are they? Here we are. The seaside resorts and um, getting the uh, archaeologists because they're the ones who pull in tons of tourism. Also, some of the great merchants have really big benefits for tourism. So Isaac Newton is on there. That would be, he would certainly be great to get. I, although I doubt I can outrace freaking Korea to Isaac Newton. Somehow we're already in the Renaissance era for great scientists too. So we're not going to get this, um, not going to get this individual, but we will get the, 
Well, we might be able to outrace Korea. I'm not sure I necessarily want that one, though. Also, we have a ton of money. <laughs> 150 per turn is pretty crazy. We're almost ready to purchase our next settler. 520. It's like two turns. <laughs> almost one turn. So I don't know if we spot go this spot next or this spot next. Maybe this one next. Oh, and I have enough for that market. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? So that'll get us another even more money and another trade route. I'm just going to keep cranking out these trade routes. I still have two more to fill out. Uh, this one I want to send to the new city, which again is going to, this is going to line up really well. Ancestral Hall finishes and the trader finishes. I'll be able to rebase both of them to that city. Volcano! Fortunately, it's not hitting me. Yeah, I'm aware that Mint is starving. It's not going to start for 30 more turns, okay? Oh, yay! The barb moved in a way that I wanted. There we go. So we actually get a boost on a tech that's not even optional anymore. Thank you, Spearman. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> now they just swap so that now it's the sword defending the camp. <laughs> Why do the barbs have to be smart? Very annoying. <laughs> well, I'll keep an eye on it for right now. I need to upgrade that unit into a sword. <laughs> Meanwhile, over here there's more barbarians. There's a camp right here. Do the rules from Civ 4 apply? You should always have builders to make sure you aren't working unimproved tiles. Generally speaking, yes. You don't want to work unimproved tiles if you can avoid it. If possible, yes. Just because improved tiles are so much more powerful than unimproved tiles. Look at this city. It's up to... Look at all that culture. Whew. I'm going to need another builder here. Might have to switch land. Probably have the... No, I need to do the aqueduct next. I was going to say maybe I'd do another builder there, but I'm going to need the aqueduct, so... Nope. I got to think about moving Magnus to a chop-heavy city, too. Like, maybe this city. There are some forests to chop. We'll see. So I think I might go for this city next, just because it's a little bit closer and easier to set up. And then afterwards, go for this city following that. The terrain's just a lot less rough up here. But yeah, we're just going to keep cranking out those cities while we're in this uh, Golden Age. And then we'll go for science in the following Golden Age. Although, if you've noticed, we've kind of been cutting into Korea's lead. I mean, obviously we're still behind, but not by as much as before. Still not great, obviously. We still need more campus districts, but we're making progress. It also helps that the AI does not really go for the boosts. All right. Yeah, I was worried that he would do that. So it's time to run away again! We could, in theory, just keep running away, doing very minor damage, and then coming back again. All right. So we did finish the Ancestral Hall. Oh, we need a name for this city, you guys. Uh, if you don't mind, one of you give me a name for this city. What do we want for this one? I'm going to move the arches in the golden eye. Other thoughts? Not, I, I'm not going to say that's terrible or anything, but might not be my first choice. It's on the Gambia River. Make it rain. <laughs> yeah, I, I like that. I like the make it rain. <laughs> Let's go with that. Yes, unfortunately I lose that. They adjust to their... Okay, I don't quite understand that, but sure. Make it rain. Unfortunately, the game is all only does all caps. So, what's up first? Well, it's going to be our unique district. Same thing that we always build first. Look how cheap it is. Really nice. So, note that we get the district discount on holy sites, entertainment complex, theater squares, industrial zones. Uh, we do not get it on campuses. So, let me think about districts for a second. So, we definitely want to put the district down somewhere. The question is, what else do I want to put down? Um, I will probably build... I don't know if I'll build a campus district or not. This would be a good tile for a campus district with all the forests and 
whatnot. Let's just put the commercial district here and we can figure out the rest later on. So that's the first thing to build. Uh, now we're gonna rebase our trader down there and run the trade route back to dollar signs here, which is actually food neutral. Why is it at zero turns to growth? I didn't tell it not to grow, did I? Anyway. Oh, uh, also I forgot to stop researching feudalism. That's fine, feudalism's pretty darn good. If the newly trained builders get two extra actions is pretty awesome. So you, um, hmm. I would like the city to keep growing, actually. Maybe it just, it's probably just a rounding error right there. Why don't you do the shrine? Get me some more faith coming in. Unless I see something else here. Now the question is, are any of these, well, none of these wonders are suitable. I wouldn't mind building Colosseum, but there's no suitable locations. Um, or I could just do the trader because the trader is super cheap. And I do like having those traders in action. Yeah, why don't we try that? Hmm. So do I want to improve this tile or this tile? Let's go with this one because it, I might put a campus district here later. It does have a really nice adjacency bonus. There we go. All right, that's enough housing to keep us busy for a while. Also, I think I would prefer this tile over this tile. While I'm thinking about it, let's get our next settler out. There we go, 520. So how much is the next one? 580, geez, only went up to 580? Man, I am, so I think that was the right golden age dedication because I am just cranking out these settlers right now. All right, so you are gonna go down here to make it rain. So that means make it rain probably wants to improve the um, resource tile first. Note that the builder started with four charges. Oh, it's too bad I wasn't in um, feudalism's uh, serfdom policy. That would have been nice. Do I have an unused governor promotion just out of curiosity? Yes, I've been having these, I've been sitting here with unused <laughs> governor promotions a lot. All right. So I could pick up Connoisseur plus one culture each turn, which would be quite nice. I'm strongly thinking of that to get me some more culture and move through the tree faster. The other big thing would probably be just pick up Amani for the extra envoy. If I wanted to, I could get, um, like I could become suzerain of Cahokia, although I don't think that's that crucial. It would help me get one towards like non Madol though. I don't know. I think I can hold off on Amani. I think I'd rather just get the... Oh, does the Settler... No, the Settler is... I thought that I was still losing pop... No, I did lose a population point here at Eastwatch. Eastwatch has been taking one for the team here. Um, <laughs> fortunately, it's easy to grow pop at low sizes, and this city does have a lot of food. So yeah, it did lose a population point. But yeah, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to promote Pingala. And I'm pretty, good, pretty much going to stop here. I don't need the plus 100 great person points. That's not that awesome. All right. So that'll get me quite a bit of culture. Again, thanks to this city, which I don't understand why it's not growing. It should be able to grow again. It's true. Um, another promotion on Magnus would stop that. Why is this city not growing? It has plenty of food. Does anyone know why? Have I like clicked a don't grow button or something here? It should be able to grow just fine. Like, it's not even at the housing cap yet. I don't suppose anyone knows why this is happening. Yeah, total food surplus is six plus six. It should be growing here. Like I know it's slow, the pop growth this slowed, but it should still be growing. It seems to have stopped for some reason. Just wondering if like I accidentally clicked something. Slows down massively one pop away from the house. Well, no, it's, I mean, where's the actual food here? It should say the actual food somewhere. I don't get it. 
It should still be growing. I keep wondering if like I accidentally did something to tell it to stop growing. Anyway, it's saying six plus six, right? It should still be growing. I don't quite get it. Anyway, all right. This is another city that really needs like hill tiles on here. Oh, this is new. I don't think I recognized that graphic before. I think they changed the way the lumber mill looks, or at least that graphic is new. Let's, um, why don't we work on the library for right now? Or actually, that, or I was going to say military. We'll see. I can always change my mind later. How does Civ 6 stack up against Civ 5? So obviously this is a personal opinion. I personally like Civ 6 way more than Civ 5. And the logic for that is um, Civ 5, you don't benefit from growing, essentially. Like, there's no gain to growing your cities, to, um, to expanding. There's very little purpose to expansion in that game. So that's the main reason I don't like that. Bigger is better in um, in this game, fortunately. Normal people believe. All right, so we finished engineering. Thank you, Mint. So we're going to change civics next turn. I think I'm going to run some military here for a little while, just so I can, and particularly building a few archers. Like if I had four or five archers, I'd feel a lot better because I'd be able to upgrade them to crossbows later. Here comes that sword after me again. <laughs> Pretty amusing. Okay. So I've scrolled way down the tech tree. Now that we have that... Um, and I'll, this will also boost machinery. We probably want machinery just so we have access to crossbows. Like, I'm not going to finish it, but I would like to at least get close to it. And then we'll see if we can go down here and maybe unlock Niter as a resource next. So um, I need to build an aqueduct here because otherwise the city can't grow. And I think this is the tile I want. Just because this is not really a useful tile. The mall also needs to get that aqueduct down. Sadly on this tile that I already improved like an idiot. I'm gonna go back and finish the monument first though. That looks fine. The city will just grow onto more tiles there. Uh, other cities, you need to get an aqueduct down. All right, so it did in fact grow another size. So it did in fact grow. That's good to, good to see. So you need to get your aqueduct down too. Oh, I can pick either of these two tiles. Hmm. Well, I don't think it matters a huge amount. Really, I, we mentioned this before, but it's so disappointing that this rice tile is on here instead of like here, because this would be the ideal campus right there. <laughs> be like the best campus ever. Anyway, um, we'll probably put a campus here later on. So I don't know. This tile seems fine. I'm tossing them down so that I lock in the cost so that they stop getting more expensive. So mint, um, iron bags, I think is okay. This is this city's got plenty of housing and it's not really able to grow. That's the only eligible tile. But um, uh, I guess I should toss one down now while they're cheap, just in case I need it later. You never know, this city might grow later on. Or actually, this is an eligible tile too. And this should be the tile to put it down because I can put a campus there or there doesn't really hurt to put it down now, even though I can never undo that decision. There's the archer. All right, money bags. Also should put down an aqueduct now. If I can find it. <laughs> the only reasonable choice is this tile, although that will mean I can't work that tile, which is not ideal, but it's already at the housing cap, so it's going to need that tile at some point. Seriously, work that tile over that tile. All right. At least that gives me an extra point of production. You can probably just chill here for the moment. Unless I could get, you know, maybe I should get open borders with Korea and try to go deal with that barb camp. I don't know. Probably better just to keep it around for defense. I am planning on staying peaceful. I will 
eventually do another Civ game, uh, Civ 6 game that's more combat focused, but this one is intended to stay pretty peaceful. It's a good question. Now this city would be awesome with a water mill because it's got the double um, double race tiles. I probably need to harvest this and then use it for an aqueduct on this tile. And then you can toss down your aqueduct too, because why not? I don't know if you'll ever need it, but sure. Why not these tiles? Why is it only selecting hill tiles? I don't understand why it's not saying I can't. I would much prefer it be on this tile over a hill tile. I don't quite get that. Well, anyway. Probably the bend. Hmm. Anyway. So, note that make it rain. Look at the city. It's like, yeah, 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 not really that great. 13 turns to grow, 19 turns. Well, let's run a trade route now up to Dollar Signs, the world's greatest city. This will also get us a road connection. And now all of a sudden, oh look, four turns to grow. It's all of a sudden we grow just fine. Uh, and I also built another plantation. So that gives me an excess luxury resource to sell. Let's see if anyone wants to buy it. One gold. Oh, he already has that luxury, so that's why. We sold him a luxury before. So he's one to give us a decent price. Let's see what the others have to say. So all right, that's less. Eleanor, I'm willing to sell to the highest bidder. That's not bad either. Same price. Oh, that's much better. I think we've got our I think we've got our buyer here. Okay. 11 gold per turn for a resource we're not even using works for me. Yeah, traders are quite powerful. Oh, what what the heck happened to this dude? Uh, I see. No, it's going to get sniped by the Korean warrior, isn't it? Oh, well. Still revealing more land down here. All right, so let's think about a name for this city and what, what we're going to stop once we found this city because we're getting close to the end for today. Um, things are looking much better than they were before. Also, my science is going to explode if I can get into the next age and take the golden age thing that um, gives me science for commercial district adjacency bonuses. So like our research is not great now, but it's going to get stronger. Wait, we completed our first, oh, first campus with an adjacency bonus of three science or higher. We also got a lot of boosts. All right, let's change policies while I'm thinking about it. So we don't need this. I'm thinking, I'm wondering, hold on, I need to think about what else I'm going to get. I'm wondering if I need to get, I definitely want to goge here, um, so I want to build some military. And then the question is, do I want to get, um, do I want to get like the builder policy? We actually completed a city-state quest there. Also, I think it might be decent time to drop uh, an envoy in with a two-for-one policy at Fez, because that would be useful to get, I think. Or I could drop a policy in with non Madol too. Get the two for one there. Uh, I am going to have some theater districts because this is going to be a cultural game. So getting more culture is not going to be wasted. Anyway, so we've already locked down a golden age. We're probably going to be way over what we need for this golden age. Desert Oasis, done. You guys are on it. Desert Oasis it is. Oh, shh. I moved it to the wrong tile. I'm not going to reload, but I could have moved there and founded it next turn. That's annoying. Anyway. Alrighty, what do we want next? We actually got oh we actually got the boost for recorded history. This is this is pretty nice, the campus district adjacency bonuses. We um we also need to get into a better government soonish. We're apparently behind on um, someone's already way all the way down here on the civic street, but we've got a lot of boosts for a bunch of these. Um, and our culture is enough that look we can we can fly through the tree pretty quickly here Civil service would be nice too This is actually pretty good established governors provide plus two housing Could be useful later on also unlocks alliances, which we might want to do something with medieval fairs That's not that great 
Now this one is town charters plus 100% commercial district, commercial hub district adjacency bonuses. That's worth a lot of gold for me. That's what we probably should be pushing towards right now. That and just getting towards a better government. Merchant Republic would be quite nice to get. All right, so let's head in that direction. Go for recorded history. Uh, and the other thing I was questioning was if I was going to finish any builders in the immediate future. I don't think I'm going to get any... I might queue up some builders, but I think I will have more civic changes before I reach the point where I actually finish builders. So with that in mind, we want Feudal Contract. Let's get the two-for-one card. And I think that's it for the moment. Yeah, I think that's it. I still like having urban planning. It's just the extra production is quite nice. Although I could get Insulae for some of these cities. It's only, well, Insulae is only plus one housing. That's not much. If it was plus two housing, I'd consider it, but it's not. All right, so we'll go with that. I'm just going to check in on great person progression right now. So Korea looks like they're probably going to outrace us to this merchant. We'll see. I'm not willing to spend money to patronize this guy who just gives me an envoy. So let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and get the two for one with Fez. We're actually quite close to getting another envoy. And I'll probably drop or get one in uh, Nanmadol. I'd love to get that Corsair, just so I can clear the quest requirement, if nothing else. Stupid Recruit Equate Writer, I hate that one. <laughs> also, any of these Suzerain bonuses ones I really want. Akkad, no, that's bad. This is... Not that useful either. For the highest active alliance level, all your theater districts, that's pretty bad. Fez is, is no good. Nam at all is the only actual suzerain bonus that would be useful, just to get more culture pouring in. Hi, Alhambram. Yes, Alhambram is playing a game with um, Esmali right now, just FYI. So I think I need more builders. I think I do need more builders. So I think I'm going to start one here with Liang still in place, but I doubt it will finish until after I swap policies. Like the mall needs a builder as well. All right, so we'll finish that. Do I, um, let's put the Harbor District down, but I'm gonna do the um, Aqueduct first here. Fortunately, this city has crazy culture, so it'll be grabbing tiles left and right. And I think I favor that tile, although it's just gonna grow right onto this one. Uh, it's gonna grow to the housing cap and then pick up that tile. Builder up here would be nice to be able to chop that and mine it, but we have to get there first. All right. So I still don't understand. Let's see, can I place, well, I'm going to try to place the aqueduct again. I don't understand why it's only allowing it on these two tiles. That's really weird why it would do that. Um, normally you can place it, the, the rule is normally next to a river or ne next to a source of fresh water or a mountain. So I have no idea why it won't let me pick these flat ground tiles. Very bizarre. Um, but we'll just go ahead and toss that down anyway. Anyway, so the city's size one. Um, doesn't have a lot of tiles to pick right now, but while we're here, we'll go ahead and give it another tile to mine. And I'd rather have you stay, oh well, actually, this tile's better. It's two, two turns to grow in both cases. Oh hey, they actually didn't take it. <laughs> okay. Start heading back down here. And boy, we're, we're basically ready to purchase another settler, aren't we? Next turn, 580. God, these settlers are cheap. <laughs> I love that dedication that we picked up for the Golden Age. I think that was 100% right to just spam out these settlers nonstop. There's no possible way we could build them as fast as we are spitting them out with, um, um, with that purchase policy in place. Oh, geez. Stop chasing me, sword! <laughs> what did I ever do to you? Anyway. So we're just hanging out here. There's still quite a bit of territory over here. Like, we don't have the Ottomans' territory. And the Aztecs are here. The Ottomans are here. Um, also, note that the... Uh, <laughs> apparently, while we were not paying attention, it looks like one of the core cities for England got taken out. 
This is much better from the AI than I've seen in earlier versions of the game. I literally never, I don't think I ever saw an AI actually conquer a city from another AI for the longest time. Now, why did Liverpool fall before Stoke-upon-Trent, which is also under siege? That I have no idea, but it is a sign that the AI actually did manage to capture a city. So that's good for, good for them. Also, I do like this map, Seven Seas map. I looked at different maps. Oh, okay, so Korea also picked up. Um, so Korea did pick up that great merchant, which is a, either patronized it or finished a project or something. Not a big deal. We will get the next Renaissance one for sure. Mastodon definitely can't outrace us there. 200 gold, two envoys. Okay. So we got the boost for machinery. I'm going to try to research this to one turn away from completion and then leave it there because I'd rather be able to build archers, which are also cheaper to maintain. How much does it take to upgrade? Oh, I don't have, that's right, I don't have the tech actually finished, so I can't see how much the upgrade is. Fortunately, that volcano is not here. Wait, are we in a new era? Because, are we like in a new era now or something? Because it, the counter incremented up again, 71 out of 82. Oh, well, maybe I'm wrong. So this guy has two builds left. I think I'm gonna have this, I already have two tiles improved here for our make it rain. Alexander has a 900 plus military rating <laughs> while England has 76. Yeah, that's not looking too good for England there. Like I said, I'm glad I didn't start next to him so I can get a decent peaceful game here. Uh, anyway. I'm just thinking about whether I want to, I think what I'll do is I'll go up here and uh, harvest this and then farm, Har or, or no, I only need one charge to harvest this. So let's mine one more tile. So we give this city more awesome tiles to grow onto. For some reason it wants to work that tile. And then we'll go up here and we'll harvest for that last charge. All right, why don't you head back? I'll keep one archer here, just to fog bust. Eh, I probably should send both of them. Probably should send both. This area is pretty safe. So we're going to want a city over here soonish too. <laughs> Stop chasing me! <laughs> this barb, like the lo this is like the longest duel with this barb sword. Anyway. Uh... I guess I'll keep exploring down here. Oh, some nice land down here, although we have reached the southern tundra. By the mouth of the Gambia. Well, we, we, this is where the next sit. So Eastwatch's settler is going to... Excuse me. So there's our next settler. That one's... This, this settler right here is going to go to that tile. And we should have a trader finishing somewhere. Oh, look at this. Once again, we're going to have the trader finish, and then we'll rebase it immediately to Desert Oasis. This is not going to be as good as Desert Oasis from the last Civ 4 game, sadly. Still should be a decent city, though. Iron Bags is now up to size 4. That's good. Let's, uh, let's get that campus district down while we still can. <laughs> Plus 4 spot up there. Is it worth paying... It probably is worth paying to get the plus four spot, considering how rich I am in this game. I mean, it's like half of one turn's gold income, so it probably is worth it to do that. This game's to, yeah, this game's Desert Oasis is money bags or um, dollar signs. The city is incredible. Ooh, we got another desert tile. Although this one is flat ground, unfortunately. So it's like. Petra makes flat ground tiles pretty good. It's the it's the hills that it makes incredible. And that's why this city is so good because it has a bunch of hill tiles. Um, these ones here will be grabbed eventually. Also, we've got these salt tiles, which will also get the bonus because we'll be able to mine them. <laughs> it's kind of sad. Poor money bags is so totally overshadowed by dollar signs at this point. <laughs> it's like, yeah, sucks to be uh, sucks to be them, right? Anyway. History is the version of All right, let's see. So we can get rid of the two for one policy. Although I'm, yeah, I'm really close, but I might as well get rid of it. This is not needed. 
We'll stick with this for right now. Gold root production. We don't need serfdom yet because we're not about to. Oh, you know what? We're about to. We're about to. We should actually swap this in because we're about to get a free builder when we settle that city, when we settle Desert Oasis. And yes, it is worthwhile to do that for the extra two charges. Um, particularly because urban. Um, I'm not even sure I really need this policy, honestly. I'm only benefiting from it in one city. Stick with urban planning. <laughs> Do need more policy slots, but this works for now. Oh, and I can get the 100% campus adjacency. That's probably worth, you know what, that's probably better than, than um, let's see what this does to my science. 46 to what? All right, five beakers, about a 10% increase. Not game breaking or anything, but not bad. All right, iron bags. Go ahead and purchase this tile and toss your campus down. And you can work on that once you're done this archer. I know I'm running late on military, but I'm not really planning on fighting people, so I don't need a ton of military. I certainly can upgrade and buy units like, like that pretty much. So civil service, we wanna head through. I'm close to having a 10 pop city. Actually, maybe we got run through military training first uh, because I would like to get mercenaries. I would like to have that 50% gold discount on upgrades in my back pocket if I need it. All right, so what did we finish here? We finished a trader. All right, so we're going to rebase the trader to the new city, to Desert Oasis. And in the meantime, why don't you do the aqueduct so you can go back to growing again? Governor title. So what do we have here? Let's look at, let's look at the options. So Liang has this, which is nice plus production for districts, not bad. The rest is kind of blah, but that one's pretty good. Uh, Magnus, if you look at Magnus, he has settlers do not consume population, pretty good too, although not that needed. Uh, I think Amani is probably the one I want, and Reyna has some great stuff too, if you look at Reyna. Acquire new tiles faster, plus three gold per turn from each farm trade route passing through the city. That one's not so great, but like if you get further down, allow city to purchase districts with gold. That's going to be really nice. Um, and like double adjacency bonus for commercial hubs. That's nice too. Tax collector. So we're going to want this eventually. In the meantime, though, I think uh, I want Amani for the moment. So let me just figure out which city state I want her in. Because she will function as two dish Probably non-Madol, honestly. I would like that suzerain bonus and no one else is competing for it. I don't know if that interferes with the two-for-one, though. The two-for-one um, envoy policy. But let's check it out, shall we? Oh, it's going to take her a couple turns to get there anyway. Okay. So, yeah, we will... Um, when we finish military tradition, we're gonna toss, we're gonna swap policies back um, to the two for one policy, toss one into non Madol, and then Amani will get us the suzerain bonus. It's not gonna pop up on too many districts, but it'll pop up on a couple. And uh, it, like I said, it's so good, it's worth getting regardless. Non Madol is really overpowered in this game. All right, so let's found Desert Oasis. And we've got the trade route ready to go to pump this city up. First thing, get down that commercial district. Oh, it's gonna take forever at the start, but you'll see, it'll it'll drop with more time. Uh, this spot seems fine. All right, so yep, yeah, we've got the six builds here. There we go. <laughs> so just like that, Desert Oasis has become a much better city. Yeah, now it's already down to 27 turns. Just like that. And we're up now we're also up to 180 gold per turn. Alright, so you're gonna head down to this spot. Fortunately a little bit faster. Then we gotta think about where we're gonna send the next city after this. Um, I might do the next so this settler from right now out of Eastwatch is going here. Maybe the next one comes to this spot. Just because it'll uh, here, probably. Probably there. Actually, no, this, this tile is probably better. 
Yeah, that tile's better because it has more land tiles in it. All right, so now you go over to Desert Oasis, and just like that, Desert Oasis will be off to a good start. Yeah, maybe you hang out here for a few turns. So how much does that next settler cost? Oh, 640. Well, we'll have that in three turns. <laughs> Port Eastwatch is just um, absorbing one for the team, losing pop and immediately regrowing pop again and again and again. <laughs> this barb sword. This barb sword's like, I will chase you to the ends of the earth. So yeah, England somehow is not losing more cities, even though England is, a, it's a thousand military strength to 76. You would think that they would lose more. Oh, hey, look, here's a new unit. Skirmisher. This is not a unit I've seen before. Must be new in the expansions. All right. So this is a great place to stop. We have improved a lot from where we were uh, at the start of this session. Like I said, Molly is slow starting, but it becomes a very powerful sieve as time goes on. Um, so yeah, we have, if we just look at the rankings, at 301, we've passed a couple of the AIs. We're getting close to the leaders now. Uh, military strength still sucks, but um, we will fix that with time. We have passed everyone in science except Crazy Runaway Korea, and we've also passed everyone in culture except Crazy Runaway Korea. Um, and we will be able to make up for that with our insane income. Um, we just need to start, keep getting, get more campus districts down, get some theater stuff down, etc. Keep expanding. Like, that's the big thing. Keep expanding, keep controlling more resources. You get the idea. Eastwatch is so terrible, citizens fleeing from it founded the Mali Empire. <laughs> I mean, we've purchased settlers out of here for Make It Rain, Desert Oasis, the Mall. We've got another settler for this spot, and we'll have one for this spot in like three more turns. So yeah, um, having this much money is pretty awesome. And as good as the commercial district adjacency bonuses are, I really think that we nailed the right um, dedication for this Golden Age. So let's hope that we can get into a Golden Age in the next era too. And um, that will allow us to um, swap over, because we're not going to need to keep pumping out settlers, right? Once we get into the next era, we'll probably have most of the map settled. So we will want to swap over to the commercial district bonuses instead. Although there's still a fair amount of territory to expand in over here. I mean, it's heavy desert, but we're Molly. We actually can make pretty good use of desert. Anyway, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I do not know if I will be able to stream next week. Tomorrow on Friday is um, is not looking great. So it's possible I won't be around next week, but hopefully in two weeks and maybe next week. That is the hope. So once again, thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and I will see you guys again soon. Have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.